I am saved today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now I pray for you right now. You will be saying amen. I ask that the Lord cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Establish you in salvation. And make all things to be well with you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Your life has just taken a new turn. Watch the event of your life from today. It can no longer be the same. Now you will go with some pastors and some leaders now. You put down your correct name, your correct address, your correct phone number. And then they will reach you before the end of today. And let you know how to proceed on this journey that you have taken today. You have just subscribed. You need to be shown how to navigate, how to move in this kingdom and grow. So it's very, very important for you to do that. Um, will you turn to your right side now? You see some people waving and, and please go with them. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. I Give Jesus Christ a clap of hands. I belong to the celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. That was a life transforming play led from God City International Church Drama Unit. May God's name be praised in the name of Jesus. Next on that is a testimony and that will be taken by Pastor Samuel Adebosi, Pastor in charge of God City International Church Kurudu Center and immediately after that Pastor in charge of God City International Church Duce Center Pastor George Ademi will be coming up for testimony. Let's celebrate Jesus once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God a clap offering. A clap offering. As we welcome the following brethren for their testimony. Pastor George Ademi. Pastor George Adeyemi, Brother Joachim Omozopia, Brother Joachim Omozopia, and Sister Tom Odede Yi, Sister Tom Odede Yi, keep clapping so that they will come faster. Then finally, Sister Oluwatoyi Adeleke, Sister Oluwatoyi Adeleke, so confirm your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Damilari George Adeyemi. I want to thank God for preservation of life and property and for answer prayers on this altar. Three Mondays ago, I couldn't make it to church for Power Touch, so I decided to collect online. Even while I was driving, I was connected and watching the program. The pastor that was preaching said we should shout three hallelujah. We shouted the first hallelujah, the second hallelujah. We were about to shout the third hallelujah. I heard the noise from the engine and the power switch off, the light switch off in the night and the steering became stiff on motion. Cars were coming from the back Cars were coming from the front towards me. Miraculously, it could have been a fatal accident, but miraculously, you know, there is a God that our Father and the Lord calls on this altar, and that God is called the God of urgent divine intervention. That God intervened. I did not know how it happened. But I found myself and the car 
by the road. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking. I waited for a few minutes. I called my manager, I called my driver to come over. But about five minutes later, I discovered that that place was a lonely place. I started the engine again. The car started, and I moved out of that place. I said, that could only be God. And this night, before coming to church, three of my children, they got locked up in a room in the house. And I would have left them there, but the last bone, the smallest one was there. So the problem, how to come to church was just, I don't understand how to come to church. Well, I want to thank God because at the end of the day, we were able to call um, a technician and God intervened at the 11th hour. And here we are in the church. I said, may his name be praised for heaven in Jesus' name. Give Jesus Christ a clap of free for preservation of lives, of family, and of property. Once again, we declare nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking. There shall be no loss in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Congratulations, sir. My name is Joaquin Amonzukwea. I am new to God City International Church. Uh, I want to thank God for my life. I marked my birthday this month. The truth is that I didn't even think I would celebrate my birthday because there have been a kind of attack, war against my family. And that war has lost, uh, because of that war, I've lost two siblings. So, Personally, this fear of death has always been around me. And that is even one of the reasons why I have to run to God. I want to thank God that I marked my birthday. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus and give him praise. God of God City International Church delivered him from fear of death that took others. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay. A few weeks ago, I was at home with my wife at about 2 a.m. We had a call, very unusual call, from a neighbor where her shop is. And so he said that there's fire outbreak close to her shop, so we have to run down. When we got there, in fact, they will already be able to bring down the fire. But the, the testimony is that the fire raged, burnt a lot of things, but it ended at my wife's shop. That was where it ended. So I really want to thank God. Hallelujah. Fire started in a particular shop, many shops. When he got to her wife's, uh, to his wife's shop, every, the fire stopped. Because before that time, they were listening and watching our father on the, online during midnight prayer. And it was decreeing that uh, nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking. And by the time, as at that time, something was going on in their, in their shops. But God of this commission stop it. Your next, you are the next to testify in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Again, we declare and decree there shall be no loss. Every fear of death is set on fire. The spirit of fear that opened doors for attack in the life of anyone is chased back to hell. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. And um, maybe ask the man also, uh, you know, the recent birthday, is it a landmark birthday? Is it landmark? And then, what was the age that people don't cross in their family? Maybe one of the ministers should find out about that. Yes, continue. Praise the Lord. I'm told on that day, on Monday, um, when we were about to come for the evening service, I was so weak, I was so strong, and I just thought I would be going home to watch the program online. So my spirit just said, why not go to church? I came to church on Monday, but the headache was just too, too heavy. But to the glory of God on Tuesday, God used Daddy to heal me instantly. Because it was so strong and everything is it's just as if someone is holding my head and pulling and something is crawling. So when daddy now said we should stand up, that Jesus is here, that we should throw it. Ah, yes, I said I will stand up. 
I now stood up. I, start, I picked it and threw it. And I see, it's as if Jesus was just here, just like this. And he was just taking it. Instantly, I got healed. The not, second testimony is that to the glory of God. Let's celebrate Jesus. Daddy said that Tuesday that anyone that is with one sickness or the other, that Jesus is here, remove it and throw it at Jesus. And they did that. And now she's testifying. The second one was um, to the glory of God. I was believing God for three letters in my office. And um, before the program at the stadium, I decided that I will clean for God. I said, God, I will clean for you. Um, a day before that time, I was now called to come and pick one of the letters because it was just sudden to everybody that they could give me that letter. And to the glory of God, I picked the letter. I brought the letter to the stadium, but we could not testify. Thank you, Jesus. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Your letter of joy is released in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. My name is Oluwatoni Adeleke. I'm here to thank God for his finger so I can see his whole body, which I've started seeing. I was here two days ago, and yesterday when daddy was preaching, it was as if daddy was just talking about me. On getting home, I'm here on behalf of my first son. On getting home, I saw a text. And immediately, I copied some of daddy's preaching and the Bible verses, and I sent to him. And I told him what daddy has told us in the service. Because there was this fear in him. And daddy was hammering it yesterday. We should destroy the spirit of fear. I'm here to appreciate God, because there was this particular thing my son was doing. And this stage, we are all somehow getting scared of the... He was doing his shooting test. And this evening, within 24 hours, I got the message. Because he saw me in the text say, Mommy, pray though, pray though. It's when they need it. They will say, pray though, pray though. But sometimes they will tell you, you are doing, going to church too much. So this evening, he just texted and said, Mommy, thank God I passed the test. And he's there on my phone. So I'm here to thank God to return all the honor, all the glory to him. Because I was here, I called him and he answered me. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Lift your hands and appreciate the Lord. Father, thank you for the passing of this test. and moving to the next stage for the life of your son and the entire family. To you alone be all the glory. And we declare and decree everyone that has any test to write, you will pass the test. In Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations, ma. It's offering time. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 4, verse 4. Genesis chapter 4, verse 4. And Hebel, he also brought of the first, firstly of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Hebel and to his offering. Hebel gave a respectable offering unto the Lord. And God honored him in return instantly. In 2015, we had a program like this, Power Touch program, at the Christian Economical Center. And I remember that day, our friend, the Lord told us to give offering. I remember the amount of money I gave, almost everything in my pocket, everything in my pocket. After I gave that offering, unknown to me, a man could not sleep. Precisely, under 24 hours, I received a call from a senator. He said he could not sleep, that he needed to hear from me. So when I got to him, directly to his bedroom, he said he could not sleep because I need your advice. Hallelujah. Pastor prayed for him, and I gave the harvest. 
and consideration was furnished. Hallelujah. Then I realized it was as a result of the offering I gave the previous day because that was not ordinary. Abel has done his own. It is time for you to give your own what? Respectable offering. Can you please package a worthy offering unto the Almighty God? If you are transferring, if you are making, if you are writing a check, write it in the name of God City International Church in full. If you are making a transfer, the church account details are displayed on the screen. You can make use of that. This is time if you have made a pledge or a vow at one time or the other, this is the right time to redeem the pledge. King of glory, we thank you for this opportunity to sow into your kingdom. Accept us, accept, of our, accept us, accept our offering, and bless every giver in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for answer prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Now we just wave our hands to Jesus tonight and crown him the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. I'd like you to lift your hands wherever you are. Wave them onto Jesus. He gave you those hands. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. 
Jesus. It's a new season. It's a new dawn. From the very set my feet. Yeah. 
you, Father. The essence of if you are still seated by now, you should be standing. The summary of this week is that your life must display the glory of God. Your life must give honor to God. People look at your life and they want to follow your God. That's all about glory. They look at your life and they want to follow your God. They have read their Bible, but now they see your life manifesting it. Such a life that, and my God shall supply all my needs. Then they see it practical in your life. They see healing, they see deliverance in your life. Are you ready for this? Because your life is about to display the glory of God. Will you lift your hands to him and just appreciate the Lord and give him all the praise. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Who forgave thy iniquity. Who healed thy diseases. Who granted thy life with loving kindness. Thy youth is renewed like ego. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. The Lord is about to turn your life around. Change your situation. Turn your career around. Turn things around for you. Lift your hands and just bless him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Mashata la da baria nagadosha. Melika tozia la gadash. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Hmm. Just about five minutes more for Good Friday to exchange hands with better Saturday. Because after good, it should be better. And best Sunday. <laughs> so you want to pray and fire prayer in this four minutes. You see, when I eventually gave my life to Christ and rededicated my life, I said, Lord, my life should not be ordinary. There are certain things that they said Christ has paid for. I must not pay for it again. Number one on the list, sickness. I don't want to see it again. I used to have migraine until 1998. Jehovah rolled it away. Because I know the assignment that we have, I will not have excuse to be, I'm sick today, sick tomorrow. I want you to pray about five things that Christ died for. Calvary will not be in vain over your life. And we just use only one scripture for this five prayer point. Before ministration, John chapter 19, verse 30. John 19, verse 30. The Bible says, After he has taken the vinegar, the bitter substance, the bitter liquid, do you know that you are not supposed to eat bitter things again? Your life is not supposed to be bitter. And he took the vinegar. He said, what did he say? What has finished? Sickness, failure, affliction, bondage. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. He died for your freedom. This is the art of Christianity. Hear this. Easter period is much more important than Christmas. Anybody can be born and not fulfill destiny. That you are born is not an achievement. It is that you fulfill destiny. That is achievement. People can be born and not realize their purpose. He was born just like Adam was created and never lived to fulfill that purpose. Hear this, in the name that is above every other name, your birth will not be in vain. Say, my father, my father. 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 
today sickness pain infirmity disease weakness affliction expire it is finished it is finished somebody pray with all their heart i like you to be serious about this you have to mean business expire it must finish it must finish it must finish every affliction oppression in any area of my life must expire ashatala dabariyata eshalagadosha it must finish 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 it must expire it must expire ashatala dabariyata he said it is finished shall lay kaposa evariata pray like warrior pray like warrior it is finished it is finished it is finished mashat adagadosha eriata yesheketa abariata eshagadosha impariata eshadagadosh it is finished ashadagadash eriatada eparosa eshadagadosh erosa esheketa ekabos apariata eshadaga eroto eshadiata epariata eshadosa ariata eshadadosa erata eshadada eporata ashadaga eketa eporeta eshanoza it is finished sickness is finished in my family sickness is finished sickness is finished pain finish affliction finish weakness finish oppression finish it is finished ashataya lagadas empariata eshala dabarosa epariata eketosada bariatada eshadosa epariata eshadagados arata Eshadadosha. In Jesus' name we pray. Hear this. What, look, Christ has done it. Your own part is to enforce it. If you don't enforce it, the enemy will chance you. That 1998, I enforce it. And then marriage was to happen 2007. We were caught here and I visited my wife to be then. And I saw on the racks all kinds of drugs. I said, which drug? They said, those are the drugs I normally use. I said, this thing cannot work like this. So this, you have to enforce it. And this, this one, that. Mm -mm. This is the way. Enforce it. Glory be to God. All the drugs who are packed away, enjoy our life. And then, pregnancy took place after marriage. And then got a little something spitting inside. I said, which one is this one? He said, it's a normal thing. The, uh, whether trimester or whatever. I said, can it trimester? <laughs> Show me where it is written. When thou art pregnant, thou must spit. If it is not written, it is not allowed. And before we finish that one, oh God. I said, what is this one? <laughs> For meeting. No, 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 not here. No, 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 not here, not here, not here. My friend, enforce this thing. And blessed be God. <laughs> and spitting. Oh, and, and, not here. Not here. Not, not here. Not here. You need to be militarized in your nature sometime. You enforce everything Christ has done. If you don't enforce it, even prosperity, if you don't force yourself to give, you just ask somebody now, almost give everything. So there is a place of enforcing it for it to happen. Are you ready to pray? I want you to enforce your divine healing tonight. And then I move to the second one. Just five of them before I preach. Something must die 
for something to emerge some of you you will trace your divine healing to this day that since good friday i never got to be sick again how many people want to have that testimony or do you like going to the hospital you now line up with unbeliever they say next next come in what do you say is wrong with you open your teeth they put one light there. He says, see your teeth. You are not even brushing. <laughs> open, open, open your... You know, when people are sick, you have no secret, oh. Oh, my heart. I don't know what they call it. So, the guy near. And it's a man that is a socialist. He said, you know, what, those people that when they get to party, the party has just started. He had a nail that could not be hidden. And he was in the hospital. And on that day, the, I don't know what they call this doctor that are learning. They were doing patrol. What ran? And then <laughs> the man was lying down. They said, open this thing. <laughs> they, put, they put stick. <laughs> you said, this is, this is a sofa ghost. <laughs> this is... <laughs> They begin to do all kind of analysis. Your life will not be an experiment. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. You will not be an experiment. Oh. Lift up your voice, say, My father, my father. Today, I enforce my divine healing. Infirmity. Are you praying? Out of my body. Uproot it now. Uproot it. Waste pain, leg pain. All kind of affliction. How? Shake it out of your life. I shake death out. Shake sickness out. Go it out. Every swollen part of the body. Don't be lazy in the place of prayer. Lefa tada. Lefa kosia. Poria tada. Out. Kalis katoza. Elabo shada. Eriata. Eshada do shada. E pariata, a shada gadosha, e riata. In Jesus' name we pray. The second thing he died for. Get ready to pray tonight. Oh. It's just a short section. After this section, the choir do all the administration. Then I come for the prophetic session. That one will just be get ready. You will become a real machine tonight. Real machine. We are in the section of prayer machine now. You know, there are about four things we are doing together today. Good Friday, prayer machine, conference, Easter campaign, bodies. <laughs> All the parents, the Lord bless you. Your children did wonderfully well. Some of them will be receiving gifts in a moment from now. Lift up your voice. This is number two. The spirit of poverty must live your life alone. hear this without wasting time let me say this poverty is a cause do you agree with me yeah. poverty is a demon don't allow it when the enemy fights your provision he has fought your vision no vision can be fulfilled without resources are you getting my point are you ready to fight it we call it good friday so that poverty can die and you know the grace of the lord jesus christ although he was rich for your sake he became poor lift up your voice say in the name of jesus every spirit of lack and scarcity around my life break Break 
by fire break by fire break by fire break by fire break by fire break by fire break by fire mashallah da bariata eshale gade gadosha ela bariata eshale gado gados a bariata eshala gadosha ariata do e bariata eshada gada e kataya ashada gados a bariata eshada gada poverty scarcity break by fire break by fire break by fire mashat alla gadosha ariata da every spirit of poverty out ashat alla da bariata eshagale gada gado e peneba eshada gadosha e rosa eshada gadisa impakatoda e periata da e ketosha ayadosha da elekete bariadado eketesha adesada e poriata ashada eketa abaria o bariata eshada every spirit of lack scarcity and want aspire by fire aspire by fire i wave you bye bye 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 fire prayer fire prayer kali sataya etore tena e parrosidia asha legados e barriata e sheketosa e barreda e dosidia fire prayer every spirit of lack and want scarcity aspire fire prayer asha lada barroda in jesus mighty name we pray three powerful women number three on the tree they mock him you that raised the dead can't you save yourself they spit on him they mock him they tore his dress half naked mockery no what shame can be more than that isaiah 53 verse 3 to 5 he was as less esteemed he was despised if you see shame again in your life is your fault he has carried all your shame every quarter to shame matter jehovah we arrive for you now so they look unto him in the place of prayer and their face was radiant he is despised and rejected of men a man of sorrow acquainted with grief and we hid him as it were our faces from him he was even people that knew him they, you know when people are put to shame <laughs> except no, not many people that know you will identify with you you better don't face shame not many people identify with people when they are in shame you just hear them and say i don't know him oh. I, don't, I don't know him and they are together yesterday but when you are lifted even if they are not related with you they will trace themselves you are the cousin cousin second cousin third cousin of the immediate cousin failure is an orphan shame is an orphan i pray for you again may you never face shame again in your life shame is what make people to want to enter into grand shame is what make people to hide from their colleagues and their mate shame is something that make a person to look naked in the midst of the market it's called shame you won't see it <laughs> lift up your voice say my father my father say my father my father from today i matthew morakio 
Oluniye Role we my share Role we my share Role we my share My father Role we my share My father Role we my share Share Aspire Pray with all your heart Roll away my ship. Roll away my ship. Let shame aspire. 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 Let it 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 aspire. Let shame aspire. Roll away this shame. Ashata la da barriata. Esheke porrosa. A barriata. Oh my father. Roll it away. 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 Roll away this shame. 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 Roll it away. Roll it away. Roll it away, roll it away. Ashata ya lagadosha, eriata da, eshada gada, ariata da, ashada gada gada, abariata, eshada bariata, etashada bariata da, eshada. In Jesus' name we pray. Number four, he died for your rejection. And this favor. Hear this. Every day of your life. You should receive something they call favor. We have said it before. If your life. Any area where you. How do I know where I lack favor? Any area of your life. That is hard. And difficult. You lack favor there. You lack favor there. Any area of your life. That is hard and difficult. Favor is lacking or in short supply. Psalm 30 verse 5. In his favor is life. So there is no life without favor. Okay. And many go through life like that. And that's why life looked difficult. Hear this. There are certain things. If it didn't happen in your life in a month, you should organize prayer for yourself. You didn't receive gift in a month. Your error was not overlooked in a month. What you are saving money to buy or to get is not given for you for free. Things didn't happen to you that you didn't plan for. You lack loyal people around you. You need favor. Favor make people to be loyal to you. You may not be perfect, but because you are favor. You lack a pass of destiny. It's lack of favor. Favor is more than money. Do you want to pray it? Do you want to pray it? Everything Jesus used, he didn't pay for it. And they were all terrible. The womb that carried him was terrible. The donkey he rode was terrible. The dress was new. Soldiers were fighting for him. Even when he died, the tomb, nobody has laid there. Somebody, you are stepping into the realm of new things. I don't know who is receiving that. I don't know who is receiving that. I don't know who is receiving that. Are you ready for favor? You are struggling with your marital destiny? Marital issue? Let me tell you, when it comes to the issue of marriage, it's favor, sir. It's just favor. He said, He that findeth a wife. What happened? Findeth a good thing 
and obtain it. That is, if you don't have favor, you will just carry a knife instead of a wife. And what does knife do? Then he said, who will know a faithful man? Every man tried to talk good. My father is the owner of the airport. My father is the owner of this. Every man talk good. But who can find a faithful man? He said, favor. So when it comes to marriage, it's favor. Are you ready to pray? So life will be hard without favor. Are you ready to pray? Say, my father. Say, my father. Say, my father. Every yoke of disfavor and rejection over my destiny. Break! Are you praying now? Break by fire. Break! Break. Break. Command that to be broken. Command that to be broken. Command that to be broken. Let every yoke of disfavor and rejection. Let it be broken. 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 Something is getting broken now. Let it be broken. Shala barreda. Eshale gadosha. Ashala da barriata. Eshala gadosha. Erriata. Lekatos. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Kale shada. Eshatevera. Apariata. Every yoke of this favor. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Shala barriata. Eshaladadesh. Ashadesha. Erriata. Eshadadosha. Every yoke of disfavor, of rejection, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Kalishada, Eriatada, Eshada Gadosha, Eriatada, Eshala Gadosha, Empariata, Ashadas, Operiata, Eshada Dasha, Eriatada, Eketa, Epariata. Ayada da da dosha, abaruata, bariata da, eshada dosha. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Three powerful women. Before the last one, the Lord said the healing anointing is already here. Someone with one side headache, the Lord has healed you. Lower back ache, the Lord has healed you. Knee cap affliction, the Lord has healed you. Feverish condition, the Lord has healed you. This fellow, you are just always tired and weak, even without walking. The Lord has healed you. Thank you, Father. So, various healing. Now, when you, if you came here with any pain in your body, I want you, apart from those people that God has healed already, I want you to lay your hands there now because he says I should attend to this before the number fifth one. I want you to lay your hand where you are having pain in case you have pain anywhere because he said healing anointing is here. He has said it to me now two times. Lay your hands there where you have the pain. When I count from one to eight, you will remove it and throw it out. You will remove it. Some of you, you'll be entering into permanent healing forever from tonight. Just like we are sharing our testimony now for over 20 years of existing without drugs, you will enter into it tonight. So when I come from one to five, you'll remove it and throw it out. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Lift your hands and thank him for healing. Thank him for healing. Thank him for healing. And for those God has mentioned your case and you are healing, just go ahead and lift your hands and thank him for healing. Thank you, Father. Give him all the praise and receive with healing. Receive with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Somebody with heart palpitation is also arrested. Now, all of you that have just prayed for, that God has just ministered to now, check yourself. Do what you could not do before now. Do what you could not do before now. Quickly do that while all of us are standing. Glory be to God. Do what you could not do. Check your pain. Check your affliction. Check the swelling. Check the oppression. Check, check the weakness. Do what you could not do. That's right. I love the way that man is doing it. Bend down. Squat. Enter into it. That's right. Now, you could do what you could not do. You discover that God has taught you. Jesus has taught you and healed you. Lift your hands and give him praise. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Wave it to him. Wave your hands 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 to him. Give him all the glory. Jesus has healed you. Jesus has taught you. Wave your hands to him. Now step forward to the altar very quickly. Come. Come. Step forward to the altar. Quickly rush to the altar. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Step forward to the altar. Yes. Everyone waving to Jesus for your healing. Quickly step forward to the altar. People don't sit down. We are praying. No. They will just come and pray their prayer on the altar. You affliction left you. Step forward. Jesus is healing you. The final prayer for this section for the Good Friday so that it exchanged to better Saturday. He said the part of the just is as the shining light. You are praying for progress. Are you ready? Say no more stagnation. Mm -hmm. Say no more stagnation. What does it mean to move forward? You are taking one step in front of the previous one. The, 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 the previous is not better than the next. That's what is called progress. Forward motion. Who is moving forward? One step after the last. The next, the next, the next, the next, the next, the next, the next. My destination is this stage. And then you move, you move, you move, you move. The part of the just is as the shining light. And it shines more, more, not less or less. Your previous should not be better than the next. Are you ready to break it? Stagnation and limitation. Say no more limitation. Say no more limitation. Say no more limitation. Every one of you that have been at the circumference of hundreds of thousands and millions for a long time, God is breaking you up into the nine zeros. Nine zeros. 
you have been around six zero for a long time you have been used to six zero the time has come to step forward to nine zeros anyone receiving that nine zeros nine zeros nine zeros in your business in your career are you sure you will not be afraid to receive that are you sure it will not intimidate you nine zero you are breaking to another realm stagnation stagnation is a pollution say my father are you shouting three times Say my father, say my father, say my father, say my father. Every yoke of limitation, every yoke of stagnation, break, break it by fire, break it by fire, break that yoke once and for all, break that yoke once and for all. Every yoke of limitation and restriction, I command you right now, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Shalada bariata, epenegadosh, elepara, ishadadusha, ekata, eroto, ishadadasha, in. Jesus name will pray. Look at me. I wanted to stop. You know, many things. As I wanted to stop, I saw an inspector. And I can't stop again. How do you all know I'm stagnated? When you see your mate ahead of you, you are stagnated. When where you should be, you are not there. I read that letter to you here. The inspector general of police has now approved your promotion so that you can be at par. Somebody say at par. That is, if you will not be above them, you should not be behind them. Do you understand what we are saying? So that you can be at par with your course mate. And the promotion started, I think, can't remember, many, many years. So they were backdating it, backdating it, backdating it from Copra, and they just moved him. And he picked that letter a previous day before, and came to the other and hung the rank. Another person looked at him and said, what are you doing? But the second day, it makes sense. After this prophetic war, wherever you supposed to have been, whether 10 years gap, 20 years gap, I don't know what God will do. I'm not God. I don't know how he will do it, but he will take you from that place and bring you to the level he wants you to. And a nation be born in one day, as soon as you pray, it can happen. You saw it on Monday, from level 10 to level 15. Direct. It was on Thursday that it happened. Level 10 to level 15. She came to, she was calling me. And I thought, Pastor, I need to see. I said, you can't see me. I'm preparing for conference. <laughs> I'm preparing. I thought it was bad day. Something wanted to. She wanted to come and greet me. For it was the letter that she wanted to bring. Level ten to level fifteen, and they were moving in from level ten to level eleven, from level eleven to level this, to level this. I read it to you here. Something is about to happen after this prayer that you will pray. After this prayer, you will pray. Suddenly, they will dash some of you duplex. You that can hardly pray for your, pay for your room, suddenly they will dash you. Suddenly the capital you need for the business will suddenly arrive. The capital. Are you ready to pray? Say my father. Say I'm, my father. I'm tired of this level. I'm tired of this level. Move me to the next level. Go ahead and pray. That's the last prayer. That's what Jesus died for.
Can you move around right now? Move around right now prophetically. Move around right now prophetically. Move around right now prophetically. Shala da bariata. Ashada da da da. Eroto. Eshala gadega degadesh. Eroto. Ele periata. Eshala gadega degadosha. To be at pal with your me. Ashada da do shada. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Let every yoke of stagnation be broken. Let it be broken. Break, 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 break. Move to the next level. Jump to the next level. Move to the next level. You will not serve your mate. You will not serve your junior. Huh? And I see things happening after this program. Okay. And I see things happening after this program. I see people being lifted. Oh. I see story of people changing. Oh. I see life of people being turned around. Oh. Yokes are being broken. Chains are being broken. Lives being turned around. Every pretender around your life. Everyone biting you. And still the one blowing you. Biting you and blowing you. Everyone liaising with the enemy around your life. In the name of Jesus. Let it be between now and Monday. That their secret will no longer be covered around. Their secret will no longer be covered. Their secret will no longer be covered. It shall no longer be covered. It shall no longer be covered. It shall no longer be covered. No longer be covered. Give a clap of it to Jesus as you take your seat. Take your seat. Can I have praises? Just. One or two praises. Anybody sing it for me? Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me. Jehovah. Dance for your promotion. It's a dance of promotion. Jehovah, yeah. Come and join me, yeah. Jehovah. Oh, come and join me. Jehovah. Come and join me, yeah.
write it down now. All of you that have danced, you have danced for your promotion. Take your seat and write it down. That's how to receive prophetic word. As many as receive, write it down and put date. I have just danced for my next level, for my promotion. Put date there, put time there, put venue there. That's the prophetic. That's the prophetic. I've just danced for my promotion. Yes, very quickly. Yes, sir. This is Sister Iberi Okereke. For over two weeks, she has been feeling weakness, sir. But immediately after the prayer, she surgised her. Feeling weakness for over two weeks. Over Lift your hand, Mama. I decree and declare every affliction. Of sickness, disease, and untimely death, I command you check back to hell. Check back to hell. Excess sugar in the blood. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost roast it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive strength. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Congratulations, no more weakness. Yes. Sister, praise the Lord. Also, Sister Gift Ochiche, she came in here with a back pain that lasted for a month, sir. And also coupled with ulcer. But after the prayer, the back pain, she no, more, no, no longer feel it again. Okay. And the ulcer that uh, I The symptoms. From, yes, sir. The symptom is no more there. That the symptom of the ulcer, she normally feel hotness hotness on your chest yes sir. for how long has that for over the all size for over a year sir all size for over a year and yes, back sir. being blasted give jesus christ a clap of rain your healing is permanent affliction never to return in the name of jesus yes sir so this brother came here with a stomach ache that has lasted for almost 24 hours since the beginning of yesterday uh, at the instant of that prayer the stomach ache stop instantly, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. No more ache in the stomach. Hallelujah. Your healing is permanent. Congratulations. You can return. Yes. So, brother David came here with headache for more than one week. Very severe. But after that prayer, everything vanished and he's okay, he's okay now. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Your healing is permanent, brother David. And the Lord is reversing the irreversible for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes. This is Bora Olorumbe Ologun. Olorumbe. Yes, sir. Ologun. He had. What a combination. <laughs> rheumatism and um, general body pain for over two years. Over so, two, years. two years. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's as if blood is not in the, in the two legs. Sometimes it's as if they tie the two legs together. But at the word from the altar, Everything disappears. Yes, remove your slippers and put your foot on this miracle ground. Now, can you feel life right there? Uh, it's paining me inside through the bone. That's rheumatism. Okay. But at times, you go job and say there's no blood on okay. the two legs. Okay. So at what has happened now? At times, you will enter my uh, hip or knee. Okay. So, but to, as I enter, when you say as you do, I, I do it, but he has started releasing me. Re reducing you yes. right now. Okay, now check it. Do what you could not do before now. That's right. Stamp your feet. Look for it. No more pain. Eh? No more pain now. No more pain now. And there can't be again. Are you expecting it back? Yes, Abba. <laughs> Is it Abba? <laughs> you will not see it again. Amen. Your healing has taken place. Amen. The, the pain moves about. Yes. It moves from yes. one place to the other. Yes. Move from one place to the other. Right now, it has moved out. Amen. Never to return. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be back on Sunday to share the full testimony. Okay? Yes. It is over. Yes. Congratulations. No more rheumatism. Yes. This is Sister Gift Ebe. Long term infection and headache. 
it disappear when daddy said we should lay our two hands on the place where we are feeling the pains i lay my two hands and the pains disappear give jesus christ a clap of prayer you never have it again what happened to that mama and that baby yes sir this is emc Oladi Meji. she came in with her granddaughter and the Almighty God touched both of them. Oh, she, oh the grandmother and the, uh, the, the granddaughter. granddaughter. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. So she says she came in with a cough that has lasted for two weeks. But after the prophetic... Cough? Yes. I was about lasted, mentioning cough. Yes, for two weeks. But after the prophetic instruction and declaration, the cough is gone. And the granddaughter was having hotness of the body when they came into the service. But now the hotness has disappeared. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. Congratulations. You are healed permanently. Yes. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is uh, uh, Sister uh, Minister Deyemo Lua She said for about three, three weeks now, she had a heavy pain under her foot that she could not really walk very well. But that after that prayer, that pain had disappeared. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. The healing is permanent. Your progress will not be arrested. Can we lift up our hands and appreciate God for this healing, for this deliverance, for this rescue, for this healing? Can we lift up our hands and appreciate Him? Give Him all the praise. Give Him all the praise. Appreciate Him. 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 Let's give Him all the praise. Let's give Him all the praise. Let's give Him all the praise. Appreciate Him. I think we should stand and give him praises for three minutes for the healing that he has wrought. When we thank God for his finger, we will see his hand. Hey, my God is good. Hey, is your God good? My God is good. See you. 
Shadalaluya Jump over Shadalalu What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Jump into your testimony. Jump into your miracle. Jump into your glory. Jump in for promotion. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Jump to your promotion. Take your seat. Thank you, Lord. Hear this from tonight. You begin to fly. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. Haggai chapter 2, verse 6 to 9 and verse 23. Speaking on, my glory must speak. My glory must speak. Looking at the definition of the glory, looking at the possible attacks on the glory, and looking at the manifestation of the glory speaking and what it takes. Wherever the times allow us, we pause for ministration. Agai chapter 2, verse 6 to 9. And 23. But the point is, the essence of life is for your glory to talk. For thus said the Lord of hosts, yet once, it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens, and the earth, and the sea, and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, said the Lord of hosts. That's your life will be filled with glory. Amen. What God, raw material for decoration. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. Verse, the glory of this later house shall be greater than the former. That is what you call glory before now. What is coming will be above it. That is your new dawn. Every greatness you have ever seen, every money you have ever seen in your life, the money that is coming now will be greater than this one. Glory of the little house shall be greater than the former. Say the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace. Say the Lord of hosts. God will give you peace, oh. Verse 23, which is the last. In that day, said the Lord of hosts, will I take thee, you see, he's talking about you, O Serubabel, O Matthew Morakio, is your name Serubabel? O Matthew Morakio. You see that he's talking about me now. How many of you know? So how do you know? Look at the next Look at the next word, the next phrase now. What? My servant. Are you his servant? Are you sure? Okay, maybe you too, you are included. <laughs> he said, my servant. The son of Morakio. Because I don't know that here. <laughs> you see, he's specific. Say the law. Will I make thee? As a signet, I will distinguish you as a signet. For I have chosen thee, said the Lord of all. Say, I am chosen. Hear this. It is better not to be born than to be born and for one's glory not to speak. To 
to be born and for glory not to speak is a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of resources. Because that leads me to the second point. The essential of your, the essential of your creation is for glory. Psalm 8 verse 4 and 5. Your glory will speak. He said, what is a man that thou visited him and crowned him with glory and honor? So you are meant for your glory to speak. And when we say glory speaking, it means fulfilling your destiny. Manifesting your potential. Revealing your identity. What you can become that you have not become, that you become it. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. The whole world, they are waiting for the manifestation. Of the sons of God. There is a reason. Why you came to this world. What are the things that can make glory not to speak. Number one. Glory can be removed. Like Adam and Eve. Their glory was removed. And they became naked. There are many people walking about. Their glory has been removed. They have become naked. Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 to 9. I may not be mentioning Bible passages for time's sake. I have a long way to go. Number two, glory can be exchanged. Psalm 106 verse 20. They exchange their glory for anima. Glory can be exchanged. They have exchanged the glory of many people. Tonight, there shall be recovery. Every time you see somebody else where you should be, Exchange has taken place. Every time you see somebody else doing what you should be doing, glory has been exchanged. I believe it was year 2002 or 2003 or so. I was with a friend of mine who is now a regional uh, pastor, very, very high there in the mountain of fire, and we were discussing. And suddenly somebody came. Um, was saying, or oh, was explaining his predicament, a man. But on phone, I, you know, was just explaining that, please, he needs prayer. And they said, what's the problem? He said, I think they were having family function. You know, all these uh, women think that, um, you know, family function whereby they will say, um, you need to carry bag for somebody or whatever. So, he, he, the, the wife of his senior brother, Came to him and said, give us money. You know when they have for give us money. He said, which money? I'm not giving any money. He said, give us money. He said, I'm not giving money. He said, Baba, someday I will turn you to a woman. No? <laughs> he said, I will turn you to a woman. He said, what do you mean? Turn me to a woman. My friend, I'm not which money. He said, I will turn you to a woman. And he said, which, who, who will you turn to a woman? The woman removed uh, Airtime and place it on the man. He said, You see, I said, I will turn you to him. Which kind of joke is that one? And remove it. That is how he lost his manhood. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was the short story. That was the man. He, I mean, it was the story I know very well. The, not every woman that you see is a woman. <laughs> the man was making mouth before. His mouth closed. <laughs> he has not seen the word before. Kurayeri. He show him a little. In that name that is above every other name. Whatever belong to you that have been captured. Arrested. Or exchanged. In the name of Jesus, let there be fire there now. 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 Number three or four, glory can be silence. 
He is there, but nobody is hearing the voice. Psalm 30 verse 12. Glory can be silence. No voice, no sound. He is alive, but nobody is hearing him. He said to the end that my glory may speak and not be silenced. Number five, I need to rush it now. Glory can be on the floor and on the ground. It's there. It's not silent, it's speaking, but it's on the floor. It's asleep. Glory can be there, but it's not shining. Not shining. Glory can be sold out like Esau who sold his birthright. It can be sold. Many have sold it unknowingly. The wife of a great man, a politician, many, many years back, came, by, came wife during the prayer, says, I need prayer. Of course, the man had many wives. He was one of the He said, I need prayer. Some things have happened. He said, it was when I was attending power touch, I got to know what has happened to me. She used to be big, everything. Just, he said, one day, this man said, oh, I should come and pray for him. And I went to pray for him. That I should just, uh, you know, um, stand that he will be passing. I think he passed about seven times. From that time, this woman carried one kind of strange affliction. And this other one was elected, was going up, going up. Until the identity of this woman just disappeared. She didn't know the meaning of what she was doing. Anywhere evil transaction has taken place over your glory. Over your destiny. Let there be restoration today. Take your seat. Are you aware that both Jacob and Esau, they were both nations? But only Jacob became nation in reality. Esau never became. Both of them. Only that one nation will be greater than the other. But at least they are nations. And this is the good news. When I get there, you will know. One of the points I will give you that when your glory is shining, you become a nation. A little one shall be, shall be strong, shall be a thousand. And a strong one, a nation. When the glory is shining, a nation. That through your life, an institution is battered. You have capacity of a nation. Are you aware that there are nations on this earth today that are nation federation? They are not up to one million. So, if your life, if God used your life to bat something, and about one million people are drawing their daily living through your life, you have not wasted your life. You are a nation in disguise. You are a nation in disguise. We are not talking of survival mentality here. We are talking of people that want to impact life. Glory can be cage and chain. It can be cage. It can be chain. It can be cage. It can be chain. Psalm 105 verse 17 to 22. He sent a man before them. But his glory was cage. You were sent to this Abuja. You and your family are sent here. You are sent to that nation that you are watching me from. By the time you are not fulfilling the reason why you are in a place, that glory is caged. Joseph was sent to Egypt so that he can be able to rescue his family member at the time of... But he was sold for his servant. And they put chain on his leg. Hear this. That wicked chain on your leg shall be broken. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be. Glory can be reduced 
and depleted. Glory can be reduced and depleted. And finally, glory can die. Glory can die. You remember those two brothers, Cain and Abel. In fact, the Bible told us that the blood of Abel is still talking. Even as, a, as far back as Hebrew, the blood of Abel. Somebody they have killed in Genesis. Can you imagine the glory that guy will have manifested? Please, I beg you, don't die before your time. Don't die before your time. Glory can be killed. The glory of Heber was killed. Hebrew chapter 12, verse 22, 20, 24, verse 22 to 24. Especially 24 and 25. His glory. The blood of Abel was still talking. And the blood of Jesus speak better thing than the blood of Abel. Can you imagine blood that is still talking to you now? It was killed. In Genesis, still talking. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ, your glory will not be killed. Your glory will not be wasted. A governor was elected many, many years back. A day to the swearing in, day to the swearing in, he died. What a useless death. You did primary, you won. You did secondary, you won. You did tertiary institution, you won. You did all kind of election you want. You campaign run. You will not work for another man to eat. They now declare you winner. And then that's when death catch you. Is that a good death? That's a useless death. You will not die a useless death. David lamented. He said, Abner, your hands were not tied. Why did you die now? Why did you die now? What are the manifestation of a speaking glory? I have 23 of them. But I will mention five in this section. When my glory is speaking, how do I know? One, distinction. Extinction. Isaiah 60 verse 2. You are distinguished. You are in your own class. It's glory. Darkness will cover everywhere. But his glory shall arise upon only thee. What does it mean? You don't cry their cry. <laughs> what afflicted them negatively and affected them exempt you. I tell you, Lord, God practice exemption. And this, hear me very well, oh, this distinction is start from your own house, from your own family. Have you seen some people before? It's as if they are not from the same womb, even with their siblings. You look at the life of Jacob and Esau, two manner of people. You look at the life of the children of Israel, uh, Jacob, 12 of them. Joseph, by the time you remove Joseph, all the other one, what? Distinction, distinguish. Even from the children of your own mother, you have no classmate in your class. Just yourself. That's why competition is a limitation. You don't compete. When you are distinguished, you don't compete with people. You compete with your destiny. Distinction. Say I'm distinguished. Say I'm different. What affect them will not affect me. What kill them will not kill me. 
You had that man from Karimu just now. What was killing order, he was spare. They just wrote to me the history in their family, history of untimely death. Say, I saw my next bad day. Here it is. Don't die their death. Don't let what affect them affect you. You cannot say you have truly escaped until you are distinguished. Then distinguish in your place of work, in your career, in your assignment, in your family. Joseph was distinguished. Not like any other officer. Not like any other servant. Number two. Attraction to unbelievers. Attractions. Gentiles shall come to thy light. Isaiah 60 verse 3. Gentile shall come to thy light. Genesis 39, 3 to 4. Attraction. You are a light unto unbeliever. Isaiah 49, verse 6. You are a light to the unbeliever. Light to the unbeliever. You are distinguished. You are different. Many of you don't know that in those days of women saying that they wrote letter to us from the central mosque to come and present a lecture. <laughs> Many of you don't know. Attraction. Sometimes it may not be by the words of mouth, but they see something different in your life and are attracted to you. When we left Women's Center and then the, the art and craft, they got their um, chapel renovated and all that. They sent message to us. If I were to live, they said, oh, they didn't want us. Many churches have used the place. Oh. Many great churches that started in this land. They didn't want us to leave. Because after we left this, that, then that they, we should come and dedicate their chapel. Come and dedicate their, 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 their new chapel. You become a light. You are attracted even to unbelievers. Number three, just two more. You, your life magnetizes kings and queens. Isaiah chapter 60, verse, 40, verse 4. Isaiah 64. Lift up your, your life magnetizes kings and queens. Isaiah 60, verse 3. And they are kings. To the brightness of thy rising. High and mighty. Attracted. People that people are praying to meet. They long to see you. Please understand what God is saying. Oh. They long to see you. Others are looking for the opportunity to meet with them. But they long to see you. Because you are a solution provider. Can I hear your amen? amen? Number four. Isaiah 60 verse four. Lift up thy eyes round about. And see all they themselves gather together to thee. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far. And thy daughter shall be nurse at thy side. Global relevant feasibility and impact. Lift up your eyes around about. They come from far. They come unto thee. They come from far. If only the people of your tribe that are attracted to you, your glory need to step up. If only the people of your tribe attracted to you, your glory need to step up. You need to know the number of many people that are from the east that are in this ministry. What are the headquarters and, and various different something. So from now on, you will be in Nigeria, they will be talking about you in China. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. Amen. Number five. Now hear this. Every good connection that has left your life is being restored back to you. 
where they send no to you, you will hear yes from now. Do you now understand what you are celebrating as much now will soon be an introduction. The real blessing is about to follow. The real blessing is about to follow. Number five, when your glory is speaking, your life is full of excitement and dynamic. Your life is exciting and dynamic. Isaiah 65. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear. This fear is reference, not fear or phobia. And be enlarged. And that enlargement is capacity, not um, medical condition. Because the abundance of the sea, your life is dynamic, exciting. Hear this. People whose glory are speaking have no room for depression. They are never depressed. Always on top. Active. Because things are working. You are doing this, you are doing that, you are doing this. Life is exciting when glory is speaking. I repeat, life is exciting when glory is speaking. And I'm not talking of excitement outside alone or excitement of the stage. Mm -mm. Excited. Excited outside and inside. Are you getting me? 1985. Oprah Winfrey, uh, Winston interviewed uh, Michael Jackson in his clever um, estate, clever land. And it, what caught my attention when I watched that interview um, sometimes ago was Michael Jackson said, look, people only see me outside like that. And you see all these things because she took a tour. One of them, you know, this, he was in his 30 years old then. He took a tour through his estate. And he said, what? People see me excited, and they show part of his, uh, this. you see people crying, you see people weeping. He said, people, he said, outside the stage, I'm very, very depressed. I feel lonely. I'm very, very depressed outside the stage. Very, very depressed. What a life. What a life. Real glory is that excitement. You are dynamic. Inside and outside. Genuine, authentic joy. From today, your life will never lack joy. Amen. Look at Joseph. He was the most excited prisoner you can ever see. You know why? His glory was speaking. Can you imagine? You are in prison unjustly. You still have time to be going about and say, what's happening? Why are you downcast? He went about. If you are downcast yourself, you will not notice somebody that is depressed. But he was never depressed. Always excited. And he looked at them. What's happening? They said, we had a dream. He said, dream, that's my department. Tell me the dream. They told him the dream. He interpreted the dream. And he landed in the palace. Hear this. Tears only tear down. Tears only tear down. Don't allow devil to tear down your destiny. Don't allow devil to collect tears from your face. No matter, no matter what happens, remember, all things work together for good for those that love the law and that are called according to the purpose. Now, there is nothing that has happened to you that God was not aware. Secondly, there is nothing that has happened to you that God cannot handle. Thirdly, there is nothing that has happened to you that God cannot turn around. I will overturn, overturn, overturn until it's no more. And I will give in. Oh, is it? I have one thing in my life. Lord, you cannot be wrong. Lord, you cannot mismanage my life. Lord, things are working for me. It has never failed. I may not understand it. I need that one. But I know it's going to work eventually in my purpose. One key for this section, because we want to pray. How do I ensure? You know, I've given you five now. 
How many did I say? How many in all totality tonight? I said 23. You remember? Uh, Rakun could help me to be counting. You'll be my secretary today. Now, for my glory to speak, number one, I must take responsibility. I must take responsibility. Arise! Arise is a word for taking responsibility. Shine! is a word for taking responsibility. You have to take responsibility. You have to take charge. Nothing happens on its own. You make things happen. Nothing happens on its own. Don't look at your destiny. Sometimes I look at me. Why did you look at yourself like this until things got to this level? Nobody can take responsibility for another. You have to take responsibility. That's what I used to tell many people, especially some men. I say, Pastor, thank God for my wife. My wife, they pray. Only pray, I worry your lewa, Baba. You too pray. Take responsibility. Somebody say, take responsibility. What kind of responsibility? The responsibility of salvation. The responsibility of encounter with Jesus. The responsibility of prayer. Now, being in Fiji like this is taking responsibility. It's taking responsibility. How many of you know that it's not easy to pray? How many of you know that it's not easy to do Fiji? It's part of responsibility. Mark 1.35 Jesus will rise up early and pray. Hmm. There are many things your eyes will be heavy. <laughs> it's responsibility. <laughs> Some university students, they ask one chancellor one that time. And they say, oh God, chancellor, sir, some of us, for us to read, we take cola. Some of us take Nescafe. Some of us take coffee. Some of us take this. Sir, what do you take? What do you take? To, for, for, to do your assignment. You know what the man said? He said, I take responsibility. <laughs> he said, I take responsibility. For me to do my assignment, I take responsibility. One time, my wife was to speak somewhere and he was she was preparing and I think she was preparing, started at around 11 and all that. And I was there, of course, she had to bring me and all that. And then she was through at around 3.30 a.m. I think it was, I think the, the message for the youth today or so, 3.30 a.m. And he said, ah, it's serious, though, that, um, um, huh, look at the number of times that I said that is it. Every time you, you ask me, what are you doing? What? <laughs> I said this is one message now. Now imagine almost every day of my life I preach. And I must say something. So if you are going to preach effectively for one hour, you must have prepared for five hours. That is preparation of putting things together. Then any message that we carry the wind of the spirit, you need at least three hours to pray over it. So I said, no, it's, it's good. He said, ah, it's, it's, it's not easy. I said, not true. <laughs> because every time, what are you doing? What is it? What, you know? We're coming back two Sundays ago or three Sundays. Since our flight. And then everybody has off their life. Only me. My husband, like, Kilo Day, what are you doing? The message. And then, when we downloaded in the church, I said, when did you have time to prepare that message? Because from one place to the other, from one place to the other, whether inside train, whether inside whatever message is going on, why that responsibility? 
capacity to respond to your ability. Responsibility. And responsibility is not about age. You may be 17 year old like David. And all your brothers, they have been in the battle. And everybody is running for this Goliath. But David needs to arise and take responsibility. It is those that take responsibility that ever support. When you jump out in faith, invisible and we carry you. Invisible and we carry you. When we step out last year, first week of April, to go and lay the foundation of that everything that is going on, there was no talk with anyone, there was no whatever. What was available will not lay the foundation. But we step out in faith because God says it's time. Now the POP is going on. Now many things are going on at the same time. Responsibility. And yesterday when all the teenagers were around and all that, I asked the minister when we finished, I said, what do you see? They said, it's like this place is now too small for us. This place is now too small for us. That's just the only teenager. Can you imagine now when we'll be having convention in May? That we now combine everybody. God has seen it ahead. So he has prepared a place. Where we can have enough space. To do everything we want to do. The playground is there. The football pitch is there. The basketball pitch is there. The, this one is there. Everything. Everything you want to do. Offices. Are there. Responsibility. Can you imagine it is this year now? We are now thinking, oh, where are we? What are we going to do now? Mm -mm. Responsibility. Are you ready to take responsibility? Now, there is one responsibility I want you to take tonight. Say, what is that? Responsibility of prayer. Responsibility of prayer. You know, I don't know how many of you have those kind of parents that you look at it and say, like uh, Mama Tony was testifying tonight. You look at it and say, what's the trouble of this woman? That in the night, you are even sleeping, their brain on your head. <laughs> While you are grown up, and you saw it as it came in Mama in one hour. Morning prayer was like war. Everybody, come to morning prayer. And whether you are sleeping, you are doing whatever. How many of you had that kind of mother? That you are praying. Oh God, don't let them say my mother should run up prayer today. <laughs> don't let them say this woman should run up prayer. Especially women. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Yeah. This kind of people. Especially women. Those people, they try. Women that know the law. Women that know the I mean... The prayer, it was responsibility. In fact, at the time, if my father wanted to ask my mother to run the prayer, I would say it in vernacular. He said, Yata yo kukuru bongo ni wa. That is, make it short, but effective. That is, my father is asking my mother to run the prayer, but he's already toasting her to, to make sure the prayer. Because by the time she will finish, all of us have slept. <laughs> we start doing, Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> but here it is. When we left home, and we were left alone, and we were in the battlefield, will remember. Don't struggle with your children. Make sure you are doing your part. They will get it. Everybody responds when there is nobody to assist. Let me tell you what makes people to take responsibility is challenge of life. <laughs> it's cha Many of us are not challenged. That's why you see all these things. They are worrying me. When you are challenged, you will remember God. When there is nobody to do it for you, you will step out and do it for yourself. Are you hearing me? So I remember the fasting of my mother. I remember the prayer of my father. 
and I went back to what they used to do and it helped me out of the challenge of life and it's still helping me out of the challenge of life. Stand to your feet. I remember. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can clap better. 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 Now, she herself, but I'm doing that, he's talking about the children now. They remember me when they are praying. I remember. She herself has complained many times. Mama, what are you fasting for? This is it. Responsibility. That's what. For, so, we will just make this one short. Just, let's just pray for 30 minutes. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Tonight, I really want to take you in the school of prayer. And in a practical session. So everybody sit there, can you stand? Can we pray for 30 minutes? You know, if it is movies, we put on now. Full light. <laughs> Full screen. Full light. Jesus said, can't you watch with me at least for one hour? Are you ready to pray? Yes, Lift your hands and appreciate the Lord. Give him all the prayer. We'll just pray those five things that I mentioned into our life into our life give him thanks appreciate him i tell you if you can pray there is a reward for it 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 thank you father thank you father in jesus name we pray this is the first prayer father make my case to be different did you get me if they suffer diabetes in your family, your own, your own case should be different. Amen. If they don't make it up to 50, 60, 70 in your family, your case should be different. Amen. If it is women that feed men in your family and they have been listing there, your own case should be different. I see some men not saying it. You know there are men that are praying to marry you. Marry rich woman. Useless. <laughs> no, no. Are you ready to pray? Say, my father, my father. 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 Make my case different. My case must be different for good from the children of my mother, from the children. Of my father, my case is different. Please pray this prayer. Exempt yourself. Exempt yourself today. Ah, my case must be different. 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 Pray with all your heart. They said they don't succeed in your state. They don't succeed in your ar around you. My case must be different. Mashataya lagadagadosha, elabariyatada, ashalagadosha, ariyatada, ashadagadosha, ekatosha, epariyata, eshadagadosha, elrata. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, make me a game changer. In my father's side, in my mother's side, in my village, in my state, in the nation, in my place of work, make me a game changer. 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 Ay, 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 a game changer, a game changer, a game changer, a game changer, a shalada barriata, a shalagadisha, a barriata, a riatada, a radosa, a shada, a game changer, a game changer, a shada dosia, a barriata, a shada dosia, a riatada, a shadia. A parada, a shadadosa, a game changer, a game changer, 
He a game changer. He a game changer. Ashala da bariata. Ashala gada. Ariata da. Ashada gados. Ariata da. Ashada dosa. In Jesus name we pray. They said no one go to the king except you are invited. And if you go, you die. Esther said, my case is different. He said, fast for me and I will fast. As a queen, not eating, not drinking for three days. And I will go in to the king. If I perish, I perish. Those who say that, they never perish. She changed something. Instead of death, she was favored. Hear this. Hear this. You don't dare certain things until you have done your own work in the realm of the spirit. Please catch this, oh. You don't dare certain things until you have done your own work. You don't live life by both face, oh. Don't forget that Facity did the same thing. That was what led to our demotion. Because Facity did it without prayer, without fasting. Without penetrating into the realm of the spirit. Don't go and build us in the village. If you have not seen the burning bush. Don't go and dare to do things. That they don't do in your family. If you have not settled it in the place of prayer. Haran. Don't try to give back. When you see your senior brother have not given back. Because you may not be there to nurse the child. You know, Aaron was the younger brother of Abraham. All of them were barren. He noticed there was delay for his father. He said, no, I know what I will do. You don't fight the fight of the spirit in the flesh. She, he, he, Aaron went out and gave back to Lot. And the Bible said he died. Some of you saw the YouTube of a pastor that was tearing his Bible in front of a shrine and hitting his Bible because he went to his village to go and demolish shrine without seeing the burning bush. You need experience to explain experience. What you have never experienced, you can't explain. You can't explain I want you to pray this prayer. Some of you with this prayer you are praying. You are changing the protocol. You are removing certain things. 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 Thing. Many years back my father saw something. And he said my son. Causes are broken. He said no one has ever. Causes are broken. Lift up your voice. Say my father, my father. 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 Every abomination in my foundation, I escape. I remove my name from the list of abomination in my foundation. I remove the name of my children. I remove the name of my wife. I will not suffer what they suffer. My case is different. I may, care, I may come from there. I will not suffer what they suffer. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. I may come from there. But I will not suffer the affliction. No. Even though I came out of the place. I am not of the place. Masataya lagadosa. Eriatados. Eketaza. Esadosa. Ariatada, Esheda dosha, Abariatada, Esada dosha, Ariatada, Esada dosha, Eroto, Esadiata, Etadoshada, Epariata, Eporosada, Eshedia. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Everyone under the sound of my voice that. People don't have legal marriage in your family. People just give back to somebody and cohabit. They don't have legal marriage. 
um, a proper marriage. Step forward to the altar. The Lord is breaking it. Number two. Everyone under the sound of my voice. There are people don't build in your family. Step forward to the altar. We are breaking it. They don't build. And if they manage to build, they don't live there. And number three. Firstborns don't turn out well in your family. Step out to the altar. We're breaking it. And number five, marriage don't work. Even if you manage to marry, divorce or separation has always been there. This is the last prayer. Lord, something good will come out of my Nazareth. Somebody has studied the trajectory of Nazareth so much. And he said, when they say, oh, there's a great thing happening. A guy had just come up in Nazareth. Look, he's doing miracle. He's a prophet. You know what the guy said? He said, please excuse me. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? You know the response? They said, come and see. Come and see. After this prayer, your testimony will be Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Can any build a, can anybody build an estate in that family? Come and see. Can anybody get to that position in that generation? Come and see. That will be your testimony. I don't know why some people are seated. This is responsibility. Prayer is responsibility. That's why you have many people that are just prayer project. They can't pray for themselves. It's responsibility. Are you ready to pray? Lord, from today, let good things begin to come out of my Nazareth. Those of you that are in front, you know what brought you forward. You are going to first of all break it and begin to command good things to come out of your Nazareth. Lift up your voice, everyone, and say, in the name of Jesus. Can you shout it three times? Can you shout it three times? Can you shout it three times? After we defy and broke certain things, they look at us and say, let's see how you will give birth. We say, we will follow you on the day where they say, we will not follow you. Exactly nine months, we didn't miss it. Every other person waited, but we didn't miss it. Got married in February, have the firstborn in November. We didn't miss it. You can break it, that's what it means. Say, in the name of Jesus... Everyone, every power that has concluded that nothing good will come out of me, that nothing good will come out of my family. Oh God, prove them a liar. Let good thing come out of me in the name of Jesus. Please break it now. Break it now. Ah, uh, break it once and for all. Break it once and for all. Ah, Shata Ladabaria. Eshela Deberes. Distinction. My case must be different. Father, break it for me. Can people get married early? Break, 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 break. Evil pattern. Break. Evil pattern. Break. Evil pattern. Break. 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 Evil pattern. Break. 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 Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. This pattern must be broken. This pattern must be broken. 
This pattern must be broken. This pattern must be broken. Kaliskata. Eshala de Bodosha. Eshaya Dada. Eriata. Eparosa. Ashala da dosha. Elekatas. Evariata. Eshada dosha. Somebody break the pattern. Somebody break the pattern. 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 Shala da bariata. Eshala da dosha. Elevariata. Eshaladosha. Let this pattern be broken. Let this pattern be broken. Let this pattern be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Shaladadash. Mention the pattern that must be broken right now. Mention the pattern that must be broken. Shalibaruza. Eshaladadisha. Etarata. Ededebosha. Ariata, Eshadada, Pata, Bray, Pata, Bray, Pata, Bray, break it for yourself, break it for your family, break it for your children, break it, take responsibility, take responsibility, Shaladabariata. Eshada da doshad, eshala da dosh, ashadiata, aroto. Let the pattern be broken. Let the pattern be broken. Let the pattern be broken. Let the pattern. Let this pattern. Let this pattern. Let this pattern. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. In Jesus, my name we pray. Three powerful women. Amen. 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 Lift up your joints, everyone, in the front and at the back and everywhere. I'm going to count from one to five. When I say one, you shout Jesus. Why? There is no any other name that is given unto us if you live under heaven by which we can experience deliverance, emancipation, liberation. But the name of Jesus Christ. For God has highly exalted him. And given him a name that is above every other name. And as you mention that name. Something is to happen. Every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess. Whether in heaven. Whether on earth. And if it is in the water. Everybody respect that name, that name in every realm. Lift up your two hands. So when I say one, you shout Jesus. And the fifth one, you scream fire. You scream fire. For he has his window fork in his hand. He will thoroughly separate and purge his floor. And burn the chaff with fire. And burn the chaff with fire. Amen. The chaff is about to be burned right now. Amen. It will be burnt with fire. Amen. Lift up your two hands above your Ah, marriages will begin to take place. Hmm. Weddings will begin to take place. Amen. Separation and divorce will be over in the families. Men begin to live long in the family. No more young widows. Children are turning out to be responsible. Responsible citizens of the earth. Lift up your drawing. This, this will be the result of this. When I say one, you shout Jesus. The fifth one, you scream fire. Please don't miss this moment. It can determine the rest of your life. And suddenly, just like a dream, 
it change. What don't normally happen, begin to happen. That's how you will know the deliverance has taken place. When I say one, you shout Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you for this moment. Wherever there is spirit of the Lord, there is liberty. And the Lord is that spirit. That spirit, let it take over right now. 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 One. 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 Two. Three. Four. This is the fifth one. That's right. Help them over there. I need the ministers to come around now. Don't worry. God is going to attend to your own ministers. Attend to others. Help that young lady there. The power of God is breaking out. This is the fifth one. You are screaming the fire of the Holy Ghost. Everybody will be engulfed with fire. Some of you will see yourself back in your village. They bring you out. They open the grave. They bring you out. In the dark room that they tie everybody down, they open it and bring you out. Where they have put the names of everybody at the shrine, suddenly your name is deleted out of it. And you are not just coming out, you are coming out, and your siblings are coming out. Lift up your hand. This is the fifth one. A part of God is going to rush at you and bring you out of that pattern of darkness. Pattern of darkness. When I say five, you scream fire and bring the two hands on your head. Five! Again! 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 That's right. 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 Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let him go. Let them go. Yes. 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 Scream the fire. For the last time, scream the fire! That's right. Lift up your two hands above your head. Kalis go to the yes, 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 yes. yes. You are breaking it for yourself. You are breaking it for your children. The fire is still burning. 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 I tell you, the fire is still burning. 
The fire is still burning. The fire is still burning. The fire is still burning. The fire is still burning. Still burning. From today, everything that they don't do in your family that is good, you shall begin to do that. Death that normally sees anyone. Help them. Yes, that lady is swimming out of that thing. They put the destiny of everybody in the river. But here is a game changer. Swimming out of the river. Swimming out of the river. Everyone from riverine area. In the name that is above every other name. Any glory that has been thrown into river. Or dedicated to river. Any kind of affliction. In the name of Jesus. You are out now. Hey, 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 you are out now. River goddess, mommy waters, every destiny associated with river. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring you out, bring you out, bring you out, bring you out, bring you out. Bring you out. Whatever age that no one has ever risen to in your family, you will rise above that age. Everyone that they are, your mother died young, and now they are already diagnosing all kind of things in your health. In the name of Jesus, this night, this very night, you are out of that sickness. You are out of that affliction. You are out of the symptom of cancer. Your case is different. You will not be affected. Your children will not be affected. Blotting now the handwriting that was written against us. Taking out of the way ordinances that was against us. In the name of Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. From tonight you are out. 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 Your own children will turn out well. Your own boys will be successful. I repeat oh. Your own boys will be successful. Amen. Your girls will be responsible. Amen. You as a parent, you will not bury your children. Amen. You saw their bats. You will not see their graves. If it has been happening in your family, on your own head, you are exempted. 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 What your father suffer, you are exempted. What your mother suffer, you are exempted. In the name of Jesus. On this day, 38th of March, 2024, you escape evil pattern. I repeat, on this day, at 2 a.m. on the dot, you escape evil pattern. On this day, 
a new dawn in your family. Take the new dawn package on the altar and return. And begin to rejoice as you return. As you return. New dawn package of distinction. This is the department of distinction. Anybody singing for me? I I I need me. On shon titun laye miko da won duro. Anu ni mori. Where is Victoria? On shon titun laye miko da won duro. Araye ababamiyo. Jesus shon titun. Every other person, you can come and take new dumb package. Every other person. I mean, if you, I didn't call you forward before, and you desire a new dumb package of um, extinction. before you sit down, in the course of the ministration, God opened the eyes of some people. You saw things walking out of you. You saw God dropping a message. You see God giving you keys. God bringing you out of the grave. Bringing you out from your father's house. Or something left you. Healing take place. Miracle take place. Go to the back of the altar. The minister, testimony stand there. Register it because we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Give Jesus Christ a clap offering. So go and share that with them and God bless you. You saw a revelation. You saw something working out. You saw something happen. Please take your seat. Go and register it at the back right away. God bless you. Jesus with a clap offering. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We expected to go to the testimony stand to document our testimonies. Right now, I call on Gossip International Church, Teenage Church, 
Teenage Church to come up for their presentation. Please let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus as they come up. Let's celebrate Jesus. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. That was a wonderful presentation from God City International Teenage Church. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to beg on, on Pastor Ayorinde, the teenage church pastor, to come up for an award and also a gift presentation for some special people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. The Lord bless you in Jesus, in Jesus' name. We want to give glory to God for the success of teenage and young adult Easter camp. We return all the glory to him. No casualty, no emergency. The Lord took absolute control. Deliverance, rescue, impartation, testimonies wonderful blessings we enjoy we return all the glory to him and we want to render our sincere appreciation to our daddy and to our mommy the lord bless you sir the lord bless you ma for your support for all your advice for your prayers over us we are very grateful more grace in jesus name and we also want to appreciate all our pastors all our ministers all the people that work with us, our teachers, and especially you, our parents. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please jam your hands together for God as you appreciate yourself and appreciate every one of us. And I also want to appreciate all our teenagers. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We had a very I mean, a very highly competitive presentation today. And uh, at the end of it, we have some outstanding teenagers among us. We had six different categories. We have best in song, best in drama, best in dance, best in sword drill, best in quiz, and best in spoken word. And at the end of the day, we have three best in all these categories. So I want to, with the joy of the Lord, with the clapping ovation, I want to invite our mommy to do the presentation for these wonderful teenagers. All of them have done very well. In fact, I was amazed by the displays of all these teenagers. It is a wonderful thing that they came together. And we are able to identify great talent in them. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please bring the item. So the first we are going to call is the best in song. And to the glory of God, Kurudu Center 
is the best. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. We are celebrate Jesus. We need representative from Kudu Center to receive the medal as well as the token of our gift. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God in the lives of our teenagers. The Lord bless you. And then the best in drama is Ed Cotter. Hallelujah. Ed Cotter, the best in drama. The best in drama. You need to see that drama. Maybe we will post it for, for us to see one of these days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The best in dance is also the headquarter. The best in dance is also the headquarter. You need to see our choreography, how beautifully they were dressed. The best in dance, okay, the best in sword drill is also headquarter. Hallelujah. It's also the headquarter. The Lord bless you. And then the best in quiz, we have four of them that are tied. Four of them, four centers. And they are headquarters. Headquarters, if you represent headquarters, please come forward. Please come forward. Hallelujah. If you represent Kubwa, please come forward. Please come forward. If you represent Karimo, please come forward. And if you represent Kabusa in the quiz, please come forward. Let's celebrate God in their lives. Let's give God all the praise, all the glory in the name of Jesus. And then the best in spoken word is also the headquarter. Let's return all the glory to him. Let's give him all the praise. We didn't do partiality. We have set of independent four judges. And at the end of the day, they came up with this result. Let's celebrate God in their lives with a clap offering. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Then we want to now present the cup for the overall best. Overall best. Overall best. Please bring the cup overall best. The third place in the overall best goes to Kubwa. Kubwa Center. Let's celebrate Jesus. Kubwa Center. Kubwa Center. Kubwa Center. Kubwa Center. The third place. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God. This best is in all the categories. Hallelujah. The second best is Karimun. Karimun took this. The second. In fact, they were, they were very impressed. Their performance was very impressive. Their performance was very impressive. Hallelujah. 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 Let's celebrate them. Let's give God a praise. And of course, your one and only. The best of the best. Where God dwells. Where our daddy and mommy is. The headquarter, the falls, celebrate Jesus. Give God the praise and glory. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Thank you so much, mommy and daddy. God bless you. We appreciate you all. More programs are still coming for them, and we appreciate you to release them. The Lord bless you. Can we celebrate Jesus with a big clap of free? That was great and wonderful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to the special administration. Straight, we call on uh, Minister Josephine and the rest. Brother Kinsley, follow along, and Sister Owa also. Please quickly, let's celebrate Jesus as they come up to stage. Hallelujah. Tell 
Yeah! 
lift those hands and bless the name of Jesus. We give it praise, Jesus. You ain't, you ain't since I am king. Got those shadows. You were mighty on your throne. You ain't, oh, ancient Zion King. God, those cardinals, you were mighty on your throne. Drink for old fountain of dirty. Cry out, cardinals, you were mighty on your throne. You reign, you say, you reign, you ancient Zion, your doors. You are mighty on your throne. Yeah, you reign, you reign, your Jesus, you ancient Zion, King. Oh God, you are mighty on your throne. Look at 
at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, my glory is speaking already. Look at another neighbor. Tell that neighbor, my glory is speaking already. My glory Ask your neighbor, are you ready to praise the Lord? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Are you ready Keep to praise on the Lord? Show.
neighbor is not move the neighbor. Hallelujah. We are still on ministration. I beckon on brother Elijah to come up for his own ministration. And so sister Agada also and uh, brother Emmanuel to follow and minister Mrs. Victoria alongside. Jam your hands together for Jesus as they come up. We have you, we worship. 
Bless you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. No height of love, no depth of peace. When fears are still, when strife cease, my comforter. of love no depth of peace when fears are still when striving cease my God what a I say I'm grateful, Lord. Do I say I thank you? What else can I say? Do I say I love you? Do I say I need you, Jesus? Do I say I thank you? What else can I say? And Father, we declare that we love. We declare, Father, we
That's why I quote my love in you. I quote my love in you. Jesus, I quote my love on you. I quote my love on you. Jesus, I quote my love on you. Jesus, I pour my love on you. Oh, I pour my love. Jesus, I pour my love on you. In your seated position, can I just see you lift your hands to heavens? Just say something wonderful to Jesus. Tell him how beautiful he's been to you. Oh, but don't show Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, 
to bring daddy up for the second round of tonight's night vigil is our mother in the Lord and the person of Ajushi Pastor, Pastor Miss Mary Morakio, to bring daddy up this morning. Hallelujah. Shall we celebrate mommy? Can we give mommy standing mommy. ovation as we celebrate Jesus in the life of mommy? Hallelujah. If you are still awake, shout hallelujah. If you are still awake, jump up on your feet and shout hallelujah. Yes, you will my show. 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 Yeah. 
testimony can you stand to your feet and shake your legs <laughs> can you stand to your feet and shake your leg how many people can stand on one leg and shake your leg shake your leg and shout hallelujah that's the leg of dominion from today you begin to dominate if that is your word your amen will be better shake your leg and shake that affliction away shake that oppression away shake the two legs shake it away dominion 
Anywhere you step from today, you will dominate. Hmm. We didn't plan for this, oh. But no land will reject you. No nation will reject you. He said, Joshua, from today, no man will be able to stand before you. So in the same word of the scripture, from today, no situation of life will be able to stand before you. Lift up your voice, say, my father, my God, my glory must speak. Go ahead and pray. My glory must speak. Please be active now. This is a sensitive moment. It's a must. My glory must speak. I've not come to play Ludo in life. My glory must speak. Hmm. This glory must speak. This glory of mine must speak. My glory must speak. My glory must speak. Oh, my Father, my glory must speak. Ashata la da variata dosha, ella variata na dosha da, esha la da variata, esha la da variata. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, what is mine that I have not received this year? Father, between now and Wednesday, let it reach my hands. It was a prophecy for somebody. But I want you to pray with all your heart. While we are praying this prayer, everyone that you have never received any gift this year, step forward to the altar. Your package is ready. It's not a good thing because by tomorrow, three months will be finishing. They call it a cutter. Something supposed to have happened. People lift up your voice. Say, my father, my God. Whatever is my portion that is not yet in my hands. Are you ready to pray? Those people just step forward to the altar. You have not received gift this year. That is what you didn't ask for. They have not given you this year. What you didn't, I hope you heard me. You have not received gift this year. From January to now. You have not received it. Starting from this morning, immediately after this prayer, the gift will begin to come in. But every one of us, we are praying this. Say, my father, my father. Whatever is mine, that is not yet in my hands, let it be released to me between now and Wednesday. Please pray that prayer with all your heart. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. Whatever is mine that is not yet in my hands, let there be a release. No matter who sat on it, the promotion letter. Ashata la da bariata dosha, eleva riata da gadosha. Empariata dash, Empariata, Empariata dosha, Emparusa, Ishala gadaga dosha, Eleperiata, Ishala da bariata, Empariata nagadosha, Elevariata. In Jesus' name we pray. Now take the package of those gifts on the altar. From this morning, you begin to receive gifts. I decree and declare, whatever is yours that is not yet in, her, in your hand, let it be released now. 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 You are praying. We said number two, apart from the extinction, when your glory is speaking, unbeliever, we come to know the Lord through your life. We are going to use Patient Jonathan Event Center one time for power touch. 
And I went there to supervise the facility and see whether we could use the place. And then we just passed through the gate. I was the one driving. There was nothing that, you know, were not even known like this. This was many, many years in Chikoi. And the security man abandoned the gate, one of the security personnel there, and ran towards our car and said, please, I don't know you, but when you pass, something pass. Can you pray for me to know the Lord? And nailed down with his uniform. Says something passed. Can you pray for me to surrender my life to Jesus? Nobody has said anything. Nobody. I'm, I was driving. My wife was sitting. From today, there is a decoration that is coming upon you. That unbelievers will be attracted to your life. Lift up your voice. Say, my father. Say, my father. From today, decorate me. Say, decorate me. Say, decorate me. The Gentiles will be attracted to my life and be converted in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Let my life preach the gospel. Let my life evangelize for you. Powerful prayer. Let my life preach the gospel. Let my life evangelize for you. Oh, do something in my life. And Gentile shall come to my light. And Gentile shall come to my light. And Gentile shall come to my light. Mashat Allah da Baria Tadosha. Eleke Posidia. Barua Tadesha. Ele Baria Tadosh. Ele Katash. Ayana Shada, Eketosia, Gentile, shall come to my light. Gentile, shall come to my light. Mashat Alada Bariata, Eshalagados, Eparosa, Ashalagada Gadoshada, Meleverota, Eshada Gadusa, Imakates, Ashadiata, In Jesus mighty name we pray you know we are beginning to know how strong you are now by the way you pray men ought always to pray and what your true strength is known in the place of prayer are you ready to pray we said number three your life will attract kings and coin and the coin of Sheba came and said Solomon even though I'm great, but what I've heard about you, half was not told me. This is how you will know the glory is speaking. Who is looking for you? Who is looking for you? Who is looking for you? High and mighty. You don't look for them, but they look for you. Are you ready to pray? From this morning, don't be careless with, with your phone. No calls are coming in. 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 Are coming in. Mm. And this calls will open doors for you. It will open doors for people around you. I remember I was somewhere in Lagos. I can't remember when I go into Ibadan from airport or whatever. I received a call. So can you help us? We need you to give us two people who will be, who will be part of the church in the chapel in the in the field. That was my first time. This was some years back, past administration. And I have to select two people or so. Send them there. That's how people's lives are lifted. One of them said, I was leading praise and I saw VP coming in. I said, me? That's how life changed. That's how destiny changed. Who is looking for you? After this prayer, a call is coming. One call that will change everything. Do you believe greatness can look for you? Do you truly believe it? How many people believe it? 
that greatness can look for you. That you look at the number and it looks like as if it's a dream. It will happen to you. It will happen to you. It will happen to you. Bring out your phone. Choir already doing that. And turn on the light there. Sorry if you don't have your phone here. If it's in the car, just lift your hand. Don't bother yourself. You don't know. Is this choir that are trying to provoke something? You know. Because they did it on, on Wednesday. And some testify of a lot. So they are, they, are, they are ready. Even before I will get to that. Lift it up. If you don't know how to on the light, just look for a young man around there. Tell him, tell him where. It's not a challenge. Tell him where do they want this thing. Lift it up before the Lord. That's how your glory will shine. Oh. This is it. It's prophetic. It's prophetic. That's how your glory will shine. That's how it will shine. Can they have the light for us? Especially in the congregation. And the people that are in charge, they know what to do. John. Just have the light in the congregation. Because gross darkness may cover the people, but the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Now, you can now imagine somebody sleeping now. Even though he's in the church. But he's now sleeping now. <laughs> he's now sleeping. You see why it is a battle? She's now, now sleeping now. Lift up your hand. Don't worry if you don't have your phone there. Just lift your hand. The, the phone is just a symbol. It's just a prophetic signal. Now begin to decrease Say in the name of Jesus. From this morning. High and mighty. Greatness. Shall look for me. In the name of Jesus. Lift it up and pray that prayer. Greatness shall look for me. Oh, greatness shall look for me. 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 High and mighty. High and mighty. Greatness shall look for me. 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 High and mighty. Shalada bariata. Ashalida doshada. Eleva riata. My life shall attract greatness. Shalabarosa. Eketoza. Ashalagada gadash. Ariata dosha. In Jesus' name we pray. Follow by that. Say global greatness. Mm. Say feasibility. Say universal feasibility. Say I will not be a local champion. Say my glory will not be covered. Say universal feasibility. Global greatness. Global star. Lift it up and pray now. This is the second prayer. As you lift your form. Feasibility. Global greatness. Feasibility. My life will no longer be hidden. I shall be discovered. I shall be discovered. Those that need to see me will see me. Every man that need to see me will see me. Every woman that need to see me will see me. Every institution, organization that need to see me shall see me. Global relevance. Ashata Ladabariata. Global relevance. Abariata. Ashada do shada, ariata da, eshada do shada, ale pariata, eshada do shada, yala do shada, ariata nas, eleka do shada. In Jesus, 
Mighty name we pray. Finally, say from today, my life shall be exciting. No sorrow. No money. No one will say sorry to me. No condolence register. My life shall be exciting and dynamic. No damn moment. No damn period. Always on top. Always on top. Always in charge. My life shall glow. My life shall glow. My life shall glow. No damn moment. Excitement and dynamics. No depression. No sorrow. No money. No sorry case. Please pray for yourself. Shall be full of joy. Shall be full of joy. Every day. Shall be full of joy. No down moment. No sorry case. In Jesus mighty name we pray. I decree and declare testimony that bring unbeliever to Jesus. Let it begin to happen in your life. From this morning, greatness will begin to call you. Greatness will begin to text you. Greatness will begin to associate with you. Global relevance. Universal visibility. Global impact. In the name of Jesus. Excitement and dynamics shall be your journey. No more money. No more sorrow. In the name of Jesus. Lift that light. Say, let there be light. Say, let there be light. Say, let there be light. Wave it and say, let there be light. Say, from today, Matthew Morakia. Let there be light. Let your light shine. Say I receive it. Say I embrace it. Say it is mine. Say I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap of prayer and take your seat. Hmm. Who will be the first to testify of this prophetic? A brother or a sister. Let the fellow shout the loudest hallelujah. Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 3. I'm continuing on the manifestation when your glory is speaking. Can they hold the light for us now? Don't miss this moment. Hmm. The reason why you are alive is for your glory to speak. Nothing else. God could have left you and kept you in heaven. Arise, read with me. Shine. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For darkness, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Praise the Lord. This is the best moment for your glory to speak. When darkness is already enveloping the entire globe, no best time for your glory to speak than now. When your glory begins to speak, number six, wealth and riches are transferred unto you. There will be transfer of wealth. Transfer of resources. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 5. Abundance, 5b. Abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentile shall come unto thee. Hmm. 
there will be transfer of resources. Riches, we exchange hands. Resources will flow like water. Please receive this all. Some of you, it is this year that you will receive one alert and you will count the zero. It will be nine in number. Write it down so that when it comes to pass, you come with your note. God said it. I believe. I told you many, many years, the first time I received a check and it was in 6 0, I photocopied the check. It was the first time. I remember the first time I received 500,000 Iraq cash. I went to greet somebody and then they put it, it was in the nylon. Many, many years. The boy, the, the guy that followed me, I said, look, you better carry this thing. I don't want I'm Robert to be following me. <laughs> I've never seen that kind. At, at the go, just dump it in my car. Inside Lylon. I told the boy, I beg, carry this thing. Don't let you be pursuing me. <laughs> don't let you be pursuing me. There is always a first time of things. Hear this. From now on, resources will flow around you like water. Transfer of resources. Transfer of wealth. Number seven. Acquisition of possession. Acquisition of possession. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 6. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dormitories of Midian and Epa, and all day from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall shew forth the praises of the Lord. One of the ways God empowers his people when glory is speaking is to make sure that wealth are transferred to them. He started in Egypt, Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. I will not allow you to go empty. I will not allow you to go empty. I am going to load you with resources so that you don't go empty. If you pay for everything, you are not manifesting glory. Especially possession. God is the landlord of everywhere. He has enough capacity to magnetize it to you. Number eight. Is that right? Supernatural flight. Isaiah 60 verse 8. You begin to fly. You are no longer trekking in the journey of life. You are no longer walking. You are flying. How many people are ready to fly? Say my flight has come. I want you to imagine the situation of flight. That you are going from Abuja to Lagos by, by trekking. When will you arrive? Imagine you are going with bicycle. You are now going with motorcycle. You begin to refuel every half kilometer. If you are going with a vehicle, it's faster a little bit. I think from Abuja to Lagos, that should be around six hours, seven hours. Is that right? Eh? 13 hours. 13 hours. If you are to go by flight, less than an hour. The person will have reached Lagos by flight before the person from Abuja reached Giri. If you get in, if you if the order of Lugbe catch you, 
your one hour. You know why there is difference in our lives? It's because we are not moving with the same means of transportation. Now, from today, God is saying your glory will begin to speak and speed will emerge. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. See, my flight has come. Number nine, you begin to take territories. Taking territories. Taking territory, communities. Isaiah 60 verse 9. God begin to give you places, territory, community, territories. John Knox said, give me Scotland or I die. We tried to visit his place in Glasgow. Give me Scotland I, or I die. He took the whole of that place for Jesus Christ. Number 10, the Lord gives you another chance for decoration. Isaiah 60, 10. Every opportunity you have ever lost in life is coming back. Another chance. The stranger shall build. I smote you before, but now I'm giving you another chance. Number 11, supernatural openings. Isaiah 60, 11. Your door shall no longer be closed. Your door shall open continually. Your gate shall open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. One a.m., you are receiving a lot. In the day, you receive a lot. In the night, you receive a lot. Are you aware that God is the God of the day and night? The God of the day and night. A sister was testifying. She has about, was it $13,000 or $10,000 school fees to pay? And she had no money. And then was watching, um, what is this one that we do, 12 to 1, prayer midnight. Prayer mansion. I was watching prayer mansion. The word of the Lord came. It was supposed to be a thing of shame. Because people want, are looking for the time that you say it doesn't work. They will now stay. Who told you to take your child there? Everyone looking for opportunity to talk you down on your vision. God will not give them that opportunity. That was how somebody called in the middle of nowhere. Gave her $10,000 or $13,000. School feed was shut to. And she said, go wipe away the shame. Every shame that is around the corner of your life, the Lord will wipe away the shame now. Yeah. Say my doors are open. Say my doors are open. Say my doors are open. When we get there in the place of prayer, don't close your mouth. Doors must be open for you. Number 12. The Lord become thy defense. When your glory is speaking, God himself become your defense. Isaiah 60, 12. We live in a wicked world whereby people are looking for opportunity to attack, to throw arrow, to throw evil, to bring somebody down. But God said he's going to defend you. For the nation that will not serve you shall be utterly wasted. You know, some people will say, no, 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 no. We will deal with him. We will do this. God become your defense. And when God is your defense, let me see who will now stand against you. Number 13, recon supernatural reconciliation. Isaiah 60, verse 14, reunion. Those that have left your life, they are coming back. If they are relevant to your fisher, if they are relevant to the fisher, they have left verse 14. I said verse 14. Reunion. Reconciliation. When your glory is speaking, those who left you, they reunite back with you. Because they will know that they are at disadvantage. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending down before thee. The people that they have maltreated you 
while you are growing up, their children will be at your mercy. The uncle who afflicted your father has seen that God has lifted you. They will reunite with you. Because they will know that it is dangerous not to reunite with you. That's why your glory must speak. Because those that have fought you in the past, that have afflicted you, that have punished you, they say it's better. If you can't beat them, we better join them. They reunited with Joseph. So get ready. That season is on the way. Isaiah 45 verse 14. There are many passages, but I don't want to bore you. Thus said the Lord, the labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and of Serbia, men of status, shall come over to thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee. They will come and bend down before you. Nessie Mandela was incarcerated for 27 years. One of the white men put him inside the hole and was urinating on his head. Urinating on his head. Now, when he eventually became president, one day he called all his, uh, the protocol and all that, and he just went out of the state house. He said, where is the president going? And walked down the street to a powerful restaurant and sat before the man, because the white man came to the restaurant, and sat before the man. The man was shivering. <laughs> Because this is Mr. President now. <laughs> this is Mr. President now. Everyone that has punished you in the past, God will make you their head. God will make them to be at, at your mercy. Number 14. Is it 14 or 13? Perpetual relevant and impact. Isaiah 60, verse 15. You will never go out of version. Till you step out of this world, you will continue to be relevant. Yeah. That's what he said, your glory is speaking. When your glory is speaking, perpetually relevant. One government leave, another government coming. One government leave, another government coming. One government leave, another government coming, but you are relevant. This is the limitation of many politicians and people that run after politicians. At most, four years, eight years. Before you know it, when your man is no longer there, everything goes down with you. I tell people, hold on to God. He's the one that doesn't have tenor. Hello? He's the only one. He's the only one. He's the only one. He doesn't have tenor. Number 15, supernatural favor. When your glory is speaking, your life manifests supernatural favor. Everything work in your favor. Isaiah 60 verse 16, Isaiah 54 verse 6. Your favor, the Lord cover your error and color your effort. You were once forsaken, rejected, but now you have been accepted. Where they rejected you, they will accept you. Yes. Those of you that they have denied visa, get ready. Nation that reject you will accept you. Those of you that deny you that job, you have faced denial in one area or the other. Stand to your feet. Let me... Let me make a decree before we get to the prayer. They rejected you in one thing or the other, whether promotion, exercise, or whatever, whatever it is. The Lord want to open the door. They will be the one to call you back and give you that thing. I decree and declare, wherever you have been rejected, you shall be accepted. You shall be accepted. Eat is done. We call it done. Take your seat. Do you believe it? 
Number 16, resources of nations shall flow in your direction. Isaiah 60, verse 16. Starting from this nation's own, resources of nations shall flow in your direction. One of the Baptist churches, uh, they are still in the process, they are offering their facility, very ancient Baptist and powerful, big churches. They showed me the video. They were up, 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 offering us their facility in London to use. Baptist church. I mean, this, in fact, the man that, he said, you know all these white people? He said, I was surprised. He said, I only mentioned the name of the church. He said, I didn't know the man. I was already been checking the site of the church. He said, okay, the church is in Abuja. He said, it's possible. It's possible. I said, Baptist church, not Pentecostal. He said, it's possible. In fact, Baptist, and then another Catholic, true. The church they have not seen, the church that doesn't have, he said, he said no, 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 it's possible. We'll, we'll, we'll give them. He said, I didn't know he has already checked the name of the church. He said, I only told him, okay, we want to do the it's cross city. He said, the church is in Abuja. I just checked the site now. Hear this. Before they see you, what you need will be approved. Some of you, where your passport is now, you are receiving favor. Where your credential is, you are receiving favor. Number 17, authentic. Authenticity and originality of good things. Isaiah 60 verse 17. Instead of brows, I will give you gold. And instead of silver, and silver in place of iron, can you imagine the bronze, the gold, the silver instead of iron? Instead of wood, I will bring you bronze, and iron in place of stone. I will make peace your governor, and um, well-being your ruler. No more fake. Say no more fake. Say no more fake. You know what Jabe said? He said that you will bless me indeed. Many of us, what we are carrying about is, looks like a fake blessing. Because what we claim we have, we have not paid for it. So from today, receive original blessing. Receive authentic blessing. No more fake blessing. Number 17. 18. Stability and tranquility. Isaiah 60 verse 17. I will also make thy officer peace. And thy exactor righteousness. No more instability. The Lord will give you rest of mind. No more instability. You know the meaning of that? The Lord will say to you. Say the Lord will say to me. Say the Lord will say to me. 18. Preservation and protection. Verse 18. No more violence be had in thy land. No more wasting. No more destruction. And we pray this one for our nation. No more wastage of life. No more affliction. No more accident. You see the number of people that said they escaped accident tonight. When we get to this point, if you are accident prone, I want you to really, really pray. There are people in insurance, we call them high risk. High risk. When insurance, when you want to do insurance, if they know certain things about it, they will call it high risk. They normally double their payment because they are prone to risk. When you see a trend like that, you need to pray against it. Number 20. Divine presence. When you carry glory, 
we will see visible presence of God in your life. Isaiah 16, 19. Visible presence. And your God will be your glory. And your God will be your glory. I want you to carry this divine presence today. 21. Two more. No more setback. No more disaster. Verse 20. Your son will never set again. I love this. Your son that has risen will not set again. And your moon will not win no more. The Lord your God will be your everlasting light. And your days of sorrow will end. No more, no more, your son, no more setback. 22, second to the last one. Stability, impurity, and righteousness. No more besetting sin. Hear this. You will no longer offend God. You will no longer offend God. 21. Thy people shall also be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting. The work of my hands that I may glorify them. Number 23, you will possess your possession. What belong to you, your portion that belong to you that you have not received, you shall possess it. Say, I shall possess my possession. You will inherit the land forever. You will inherit the land forever. And then, second to the last one. Verse 22. The least of you will become a thousand. You will have the blessing of a thousand times. Get ready. The blessing of a thousand times. Say, I receive the blessing of a thousand times. Can you multiply your salary now with a thousand? Can you multiply your income now with a thousand? The blessing of it. Finally, multiplication, expansion, and enlargement. The smallest, a mighty nation. Smallest, a mighty nation. What must you do? I mentioned five things very quickly. Number one, make sure your salvation is genuine. Number two, Passion for God's glory. Passion for God's glory delivers your glory. Isaiah, Psalm 63, verse 1 to 3. Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek you. Be a genuine seeker of God and you will never lack glory. Number three, prayer, prophetic prayer, night prayer, prayer and fasting. Isaiah 58, verse 6 and verse 8. Number 4. Take responsibilities. Whatever you need to do, do it. Don't be lazy. Number 5. Heart for God and for his kingdom. Some of you, God is making you a divine treasurer. Isaiah 60, verse 7. Everything God wants to do for you is for you to be a channel to his kingdom. Some of you will become divine treasurer. Some of you will transfer every wealth to decorate the church of God. Isaiah 60 verse 7. You are to direct it for the decoration of his house. And then finally, number seven, prophetic words, prophetic declaration. Your glory will speak. The reason for your creation will manifest. Are you ready for that glory to speak now? Stand to your feet. You try. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can clap better. 
Everybody stand now. Everybody stand now. As if you are still writing, stand now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever level you are now, you are about to shift. You are about to change level. A new dawn is about to manifest in your life. Lift up your hands to him and bless the Lord. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Wake up your neighbor. Let everybody stand now. This is the last section. Let everybody stand now. Let everybody stand now. Let everybody stand now. Let everybody stand now. One of the things that make the glory of God to manifest is when you praise him genuinely. When you praise him with all your heart. Praises attract glory. Praises attract glory. Can you lift your hands? Praises attract glory. When you begin to praise God, if you have experienced it before, suddenly you see, you know, the presence of God coming in. The cloud of glory coming in. Say, Father, I praise you. I honor you. I exhort you. I give you all the praise. Please say that just in one second. One second. Give me Isaiah 41, 21. Isaiah 41, 21. When you are praising God, you are showing forth the praises, the glory of God. You are showing it forth. You are showing forth his praises. Yes, go ahead and give him thanks. Produce your cause, say the Lord. Bring forth your strong greeting. Say the king of Jacob. Go ahead and praise him. You have one minute to do this. And then I will ask the praises. Maybe a three minute, four minute. And then we we'll begin to release prayer and the prophetic. And the prophetic. Shalada baria tadoshada. Aria katas. Eshalada de berosa. Aria tadash. E katas. E anasodia. Imparia tadosha. Ri katoshada. E paria tada. Eshalaga de gadosh. Aria tadash. Shale katadoshada. Have a seconds to go. Shalada bariatado. Ayana shidia. Rakato shada. Yaladosh. Kalisha nado shada. Mariatanash. Ariatados. Everyone that is due for promotion this year, and it looks like they are not going to promote you, step forward to the altar. I see people being decorated with promotion. I see people being decorated with promotion. You are due this year. You are due this year. You are due this year. And you know it's only God that can do it. With what is on ground now. With what is on ground now. With what is on ground now? With what is on ground now? Why everybody is dancing for the glory? Your own dancing, part of the glory, is for promotion. The way you will dance when this promotion comes, that's what you will do. He didn't ask me to pray for you. He said, if he had told you acting, won't you have done it? Everybody stand now. Stand now. Everybody stand now. Yes. Papa, praise your name. You are worthy of praise. Papa, everybody give him praise. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of praise. Papa, praise your name. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of praise. Papa, praise 
to congratulate you one by one and then you return. I thought you would say pick your letter or carry your package. That's the normal thing. This congratulations. People take your seat in case I'm boring you too. Just leave me to my thing. And, and since uh, the normal thing is carry your letter. But this one, congratulate. Looking at that number is intimidating me. <laughs> Tell yourself I will not miss this encounter. Congratulations, you have seen the glory of God. I will not miss this encounter. I will not miss. So once you are congratulated, you return. You return. Someone, you always have good dreams. Seen yourself in big places, but it never, it has never manifested. It just ends in the realm of the dream. Stand to your feet wherever you are, if you are hearing me. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations. Are you all me or congratulations? Congratulations. 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 Every affliction of lack of manifestation over good dreams in your life, let it expire now. Amen. Step forward to the other. No, what a Lift your hands. Even people that are coming, they don't know what they are coming for. Ask those people. I want to pray for you that God will remove your name from the register of dreamer of good things without manifestation. Dreamers of good things without manifestation. Starting from today, some of you begin to witness every manifestation. Every manifestation. Every manifestation. Let it begin to happen from today. That good things you have dreamt about begin to take place in the real life. No more dreamer of good things without manifestation. No more dreamer of good things without manifestation. That from today, the manifestation shall begin. 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 No more dreamer of good things without manifestation. The manifestation shall begin. Amen. No more dreamer of good thing without manifestation. Amen. Every good dream of your life. Are there no female or shall? Every good dream of your life shall begin to come to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No more dreamer of good thing without Father manifestation. Father manifestation. The mantle of manifestation. I release it upon your life today. That every good thing you have ever dreamed about, they begin to manifest. From today. That place of greatness, that place of lifting, you arrive there. Amen. You arrive there. Amen. You arrive there. Amen. You arrive there. Amen. That between you and your manifestation, the manifestation begins now. 
All of you stretch forth your hands. What you are receiving is called manifestation. 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 Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Return back to your seat. Come back for your testimony. Come back with your testimony. Come back with your testimony. Every parent that you have a concern over any of your children or your children stand to your feet. The Lord is ministering to that child. I see wind of change. Mention the name of that child before the Lord. If you have the picture of that child on your phone or anywhere, you can bring it forward. I will lay hand on it. children is your glory. Your children. Place them before the Lord. Mention that your concern before the Lord over that child. Embargo is being lifted over the children. Wind of change blowing over the children. Protocol arrange them, let them come. I will lay hand on the picture and then they return. You can take that song right now. You see. This one. You will confuse them like that. There should be a way to come in. There should be two way. In the name of Jesus. Intervention. Divine intervention. Bring your hand, bring your hand. What, what are you? Make sure you testify. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Jesus, show mercy in the name of Jesus. Divine intervention. Embargo lifted. Divine 
divine intervention. 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 Testimonies. Testimonies. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Urgent 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 divine intervention. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. something before you know it you lose it get and lose get and lose stand to your feet i need to minister to you get and lose you get things not that you don't get things but you eventually lose it stretch forth your hands get and lose get and lose get good things get good job a testimony just came in from dublin See yesterday. So we part of the testimony will have read out at the prayer mansion, but we are combining it. This man we get job, lose it, you know. And then after the prayer, that yoke was broken. I decree and declare every power of get and loose over your life. Over your hands. Let it be arrested. Amen. Step forward to the altar. You have a song for me? Arrange them.
He shall be permanent. 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 between now and April ending, you are out of that debt. Stand to your feet. It doesn't matter whether in foreign currency or in local. The Lord that paid the debt of that widow, he will pay your debts. We will hear your testimony here. In the name of Jesus. Those of you that have heavy bills ahead of you to pay and you don't know how to pay it. In the name of Jesus, the Lord cleared the bills. Amen. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Take your seat. Everyone who desire to have to be their own landlord this year, stand to your feet. New hours for me. You see, you see, see how you mean, 
You see, you see how you miss that question? How do you want a bungalow? Face me and face you. Face me, I slap you. How do you want it? Tell the Lord how you want it. Tell the Lord how you want it. Tell the Lord how you want it. Just be loving us. You will hear our testimony. You'll be making jest. Be, be, be loving us. Continue to love us. Lord, build house for me. This type of house. Build house for me. Where do you want it? In the village. In their city. Those of you that have built before, you can build again. Yes. And put this one on rent. Go ahead. You have one minute more. God is giving people houses. Building. Remove this now come and pick the key of your new house on the altar just remove that Okay, from that, guys, no need. Okay. Yes. Pick the key. Pick the key. Mention exactly the key of duplex.
will stand here very soon to lift up some set of keys and that will be key of your houses you have asked for take your seat you are here you are above 20 years of age and there is nothing you can say you have achieved in life it look as if the enemy doesn't want you to achieve anything in life from age 25 upward stand to your feet your achievement begins from this morning you have not achieved anything in life as far as life is concerned step forward to the altar i want to pray for you you have done it for me easily you have done it for me oh you have done it for me easily within three months what some of you will achieve you have not achieved it in all your life is what cannot be done in 30 years will be done now go ahead and tell God what you want to achieve use your mouth to tell God what you want to achieve thank you father within three months Every one of you on ground and online for this ministration, this particular one. What you can get done, what human being cannot do in 30 years, God will give you in three months. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is done. You can return to your seat. Pick your package of achievement on the altar and return. Achievement. Achievement. Getting it done. Getting it done. Getting it done. Getting it done. There are various other administrations that I want to go into, but for brevity of time, I'm going to ask all of you to stand at a time. What do you want out of this Fiji? Hear this. When a woman being keep Fiji, you deny yourself or sleep. God does not play down on it. Some of you have heard me before. One day Fiji is more than three days dry fasting. 
Are you getting my point? It's only God that neither sleep nor slumber. When you deny yourself or sleep, you have invited God to intervene in your matter. And at this point, I don't want you to doze. I'm going to give you three minutes when we get there. The things that you know is only God that can do it. Those are the things you will present before your maker. Here is most of the battles in the Bible. They are won in the night. One in the night. He said this night, I will pass through the land. And I will deal with Pharaoh. And he will let you go. Exodus 12, 12. Every Pharaoh that will not allow your glory to speak. The earth will open up today. And swallow them. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And we smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the law. I am the law. Anyone that will not allow your glory to speak. Judgment will answer. Anyone that will not allow the glory of your children to speak, judgment will answer. Amen. Stand up on your feet for the last prayer before you pray that personal prayer. I want you to pray that God will release judgment against every Pharaoh that will not allow your glory to speak. Hear this. Everyone that is great that say you will not be great. The Lord is about to deal with them. Every Pharaoh. Did you see that scripture? I will pass through the land. Oh Lord, I jack me. I jack me from my enemies. Oh, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Yeah. I jack me. Yeah. I jack me from my enemies. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I jack me. I jack me. I jump me from my I wish you have all the strength it takes to pray this one prayer point. That God will rescue you this morning from the hand of anyone making life difficult for you. Whether spirit or a person, whether altars or shrine, that anyone making life difficult for you, for your life and for your destiny, that Jehovah will rescue you. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Rescue me. Rescue my children. Rescue me, Lord. Ah. Ah. Ah! Shall 
Jesus, mighty name we pray. The Lord, I jack you tonight. 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 Any power, person, individual, organization, institution, shrine, gods, altars, making life difficult, extremely difficult for your life, for your children, for your destiny. For your career. The Lord rescue you now. Rescue you now. Rescue you now. And rescue you now. You will not die the way the other die. Take your seat. This woman. The, 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 this person. The people that fought your husband. Or fighting your husband. They are fighting your son. And it looked like your, your son want to turn out like your husband. Every power or battle of like father, like son. In the name of, if you're that woman, stand to your feet. I need to pray for you. I wanted to, to run up so that you just pray the prayer point generally. And God just brought these two cases. Lord, my son must not turn out this way. The way the husband was slow, the son wanted to turn out that way. Some struggle of your husband, the battle of your husband, they want your son to fight. Mention the name of that boy before the Lord. I see a wind of change blowing. Go ahead and mention. I see the wind of change blowing across the life of that son. And from this morning, you will see total change. Total change. The wind is blowing. This is the wind of change. This is the wind of change. My son must not turn out this way. My son must not turn out this way. My son must not turn out this way. No. The battle the father fought, son must not fight. No. No. Thank you, Father. I decree and declare the wind of change blow across the life of your son. The wind of change blow across the life of your son. The wind of change blow across the life of your son. And your son have just escaped that affliction. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is done. Make sure you testify. Make sure what? You test. Because from this morning, you will see the changes. Take your seat. Finally, before the general prayer, and I, we do our thanksgiving, and I pray for you. We leave the remaining ministration till uh, midnight until Sunday morning. Are you aware that tomorrow is, uh, what is it? This nonsense must stop. Give Jesus Christ a clap of prayer. We are dealing with that. This fellow... You look at around you, things have been too slow. Everything is just slow. And it, it's been like that since last year. Stand to your feet. It's just slow. Things are just slow. Like almost things are not moving. But it's slow. The movement is as if there is no movement. Things are just slow. Things are just slow. How do you want it to move? Tell the Lord. Market slow. Resources slow. Things are just slow. By fire, by force, I am making progress. By force, I am making progress. By fire, by force, I am making progress. By
I decree and declare over every one of you from this morning, let there be speed. Let there be speed. Let there be speed. Supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus. It is done. Everybody stand to your feet. Finally, Lord, my glory must begin to speak from this morning. And I give you the next two minutes. Not three minutes again. From this morning, everybody stand. Push now. Push now. This is the time to push. The babies of glory have been born. Miracles. Testimonies. Fire by force, I am making progress. Just, just the instrumentalist. Just the instrumentalist. Yes, you have two minutes. My glory. Do not listen to the voice of the chairman. My glory must be gone. 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 Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Seven powerful amen. 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 Everyone that you are not sick, yet you are not well. They check you in the hospital, they say nothing is wrong, but you know something is wrong. In the name of Jesus Christ, that arrow of untimely death return back to sender. Every one of you that you don't sleep in the night, from today, you begin to sleep well. Everyone that they don't give you gifts, everything you have ever become in life, you labor to get it. From today, the labor is over. Labor over. Toiling over. Help arrive for you. Help arrive for you. Help arrive for you. Everyone with symptom of ulcer that is arrested now. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Bring out your seed of thanksgiving. Take your seed. Bring your seed out very quickly. And then I will make declaration over it. Take your seed. Package your seed of thanksgiving. For my glory must be. We receive in this kingdom by thanksgiving. We receive in this kingdom by thanksgiving. We receive in this kingdom by thanksgiving. Twelve midnight. We meet on the YouTube, on the Facebook. It's going to be an exciting time. Package your thanksgiving seed right now. On Sunday in all the three services, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., this nonsense must stop. 
Now write down everything you don't want to enter into April week. Are you aware that tomorrow is the last day of March? Are you aware? It's a crossover service that we'll be having. There are things that must not enter into April with you. We're dealing with them. Write them out. Bring them to church. If time permits, we may collect them service by service and set it on fire after service. Then if you have anyone living in the United Kingdom or in the suburb, Dublin to United Kingdom is under one hour. Anyone living in that region and many of them that want to be part of what God wants to do later in the year, tell them about our partners, workers, and volunteer meeting that is coming up in April 9, precisely in London at Tottenham. And um, it, of course, it's going to be like a mini power torch to meet with uh, those who are, we have people on ground already that already do it. The, um, the, some underground works. I thought we have a flyer for the partners. If you want to clap, you can go ahead and clap. So there is a, a Fiji that will be coming up later, precisely in May, and it's going to be a time like no other. The technical doesn't have the flyer. Okay. They are weak now. Can you expand it so that the venue? So tell your people uh, so much arrangement, so more things are going on there. Lift up your Thanksgiving seat. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you for a beautiful night like this. Thank you for your love, your kindness, and your faithfulness. Now we decree and declare that the window of heaven open upon this Thanksgiving. We give you thanks because from today our glory is speaking already. Nobody's glory will be dull anymore. Thank you, Father. Especially financial glory. Let it begin to speak loud and clear. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You know what I want you to do now before I make prophetic declaration? Even if it is two minutes, three minutes that we will praise God. Dance your best. Dance your greatest. Dance your highest. So that when you stand there to testify, your neighbor will say, ah, the way she was dancing after the VG. I don't know, that's why God has visited him. Yes. Been around the world Looking for a miracle I found no one You say Nobody like you Been to many places
Hallelujah. Lift your hands as if you want to receive something from the Lord. If today is your first time, step forward to the altar. All the contractors under the sound of my voice, get ready to begin to get job from nations. Nations. This is the word of the Lord. Nations. Persons have been giving you job before now. But nations will begin to call on you. State will begin to call on you. Big institution will begin to call on you. Today is your first time. Step forward to the altar. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of wombs, begin to receive your babies. In the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for miracle marriage. Miracle marriage. This year, your settlement has been approved. Everyone trusting God for relocation. I decree and declare smooth process. In the name of Jesus. Between now and the last Friday in April, what God will have done for you, what God will have done for you, will dace you yourself. All prayer requests are answered. The ego that you caught in your dream and you could not carry by yourself, right now, that ego will manifest physically. That massive breakthrough. I'm hearing the ego has landed. 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 Now, take your ego. From this morning, your life begins to make impact. Influence becomes the order of the day. You will continue to be relevant. Your glory will continue to speak. Your glory will not descend. Your glory will not enter into water. Your glory will not disappear. Every time I hear from you, it shall be good news. It shall be great news. It shall be joyful news. Every time you hear from me, it shall be good news. It shall be great news. It shall be joyful news. Between now and tomorrow, God has given you several testimonies. Among testifier on Sunday, this tomorrow, your name will make the list. In the name of Jesus, no accident, no mishap, no running at a scatter. Hospital will not become your second home. In the name of Jesus, till I see you, it shall be testimony upon testimony. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Say, I wear my glory. Amen. Say, my glory is speaking already. Amen. Say, my glory is speaking already. Amen. Say, my glory is speaking already. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 2024, my year of new era, my year of new dawn, my year of higher dimensions. These are my portions. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell 12 people, my glory is speaking. 12. Quickly rush to the altar if today is your first time. Come to the altar. We want to pray for you. Today is your first time in God's city in the national church. Rush and dash to the altar right away. Now, all of you in the front, look at me. You are welcome to church. This is God's city international church. The place of deliverance. The place of rescue. 